All right, what's going on to all my Lumen employees? <laughs> what's going on, everybody? Elliot here from Movie Files. How you guys doing? Did you uh, did you enjoy the finale? Did you did your mind did your your chip in your head explode? Did your any or did your Audi like it more? Which one liked the episode more? Let's have a discussion. What's up, everyone? Elliot here from Movie Files. This is your first time tuning in. Uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, I am a recent employee of Lumen. Of about two weeks, I, I uh, you know, some some wonderful people, part of this community, have been reaching out for me for weeks, saying, "Elliot, y y there's this new job out there where you can work and not know what you're doing. You should come and join this community." And I'm so glad I did because I love this show and I love this finale. And that's all we're talking about tonight is a full discussion about this finale. I can't, it's bittersweet. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm upset. I'm, I'm sad. It's over. We do have an announcement to talk about in regards to season two, uh, but it was a journey and I'm so glad I was on this journey with you all uh, for the last couple of weeks. Uh, and man, whew, what a, what a finale, ladies and gentlemen, what a finale. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Hope you're doing good. I know it's a late stream. I just wanted to talk to the community, wanted to talk to you all about this finale. We might do another discussion in the coming days um, if you guys, you know, want to discuss more about the finale. Uh, but I just wanted to come on tonight and just chat with you all because when I saw the finale, I'm like, I need I need to go in, in the wellness section with uh, Gemma. Like after this episode, I'm like, I need to go to a Gemma session because I just can't handle what I saw. <laughs> But uh, before we get into the discussion tonight, again, I appreciate you all. I know it's late. Uh, I'm on, you know, I'm in the uh, Midwest, so it's 10, 17 where I am. So it might be later where you are. It might be earlier where you are. You might be watching this on the replay, which I appreciate you. But make sure you're liking this video because this is going to be a fun video. I am so excited to break down this episode with you all. Just have discussions about the season, about the characters, season two, theories, predictions of what we hope to see and all that good stuff. So please, please, please do me a favor uh, or I'll, I'll sick mill trick on you and <laughs> have him come to your house. Joking. Uh, make sure you're giving this video a thumbs up. Share the video to anyone. And I'm talking everyone you know that's up at this time of night. Uh, and loves this show just as much as we do. So share it to them. And then, uh, you know, if you're not subscribed, um, yeah, do me a favor. Hit that subscription button and hit that bell notification. Because, listen, I've been on an Apple bandwagon train for the last two years. I love Apple TV+, Plus, especially when it delivers such amazing content like this very show. So before we get into the discussion, uh, let me just put out, let me put out the bat signal. Let me hit up my um, social medias right quick and let everyone know. No, we're live. We are live talking this show, which is um, is early in the year. It is early in the year, but it's pretty safe to say that this is my favorite show of the year so far. You know, we're only four episodes in Atlanta, which I love so much. Um, you know, Barry season three is coming around the corner. There's a great uh, HBO show from a basketball Lakers fan, Winning Time. So, I mean, there's been some some great TV so far, but nothing like this show, uh, Severance. Nothing like it uh we are live we are live all right i'm just sitting sitting out some little links here and then we'll get into checking in with the chat saying what's up to the chat and we'll uh we'll get this thing going and another thing too no pressure no pressure at all but if you guys want to hop on the stream in regards to like showing your face you know letting people know who you are and having maybe a discussion maybe in about 15 20 minutes we can open up the uh the phone lines <laughs> if you want to call it that uh we can open up the uh the stream and have you all join and we can just have like a cool cool conversation about this so come and join come join the fun all right so i'm just putting out these little little uh mill chick messages here to get some people in and uh have a fun time tonight it's, again i know it's late we're gonna probably be on for maybe about an hour maybe longer i don't know but no i got stuff to do in the morning we won't be on too long but i definitely just want to have a conversation with you all so again i know i'm being a terrible host right now uh but we will get this started in a bit in the meantime let me know where everyone's coming from what uh you know what was your initial reaction to finishing the finale did you love it did you hate it are you somewhere in between and then like i said we'll get this thing started in just a little bit all right again i'm just uh putting out the little bat signals let everyone know that we are live and we're gonna be talking about this show this finale and everything in between all right i think we are gucci all right Let's see who we got here. Let's see. Let's see. Let me scroll up. We got a lot of people here. What's going on, everyone? I, I thought I uh, was going to be the only one here tonight, 
but no, nah, I know you guys are going to stop by, show some love. Uh, do you, does he have a Twitter or anything? Who who, who referring to Milchik? I don't know if Twitter, I don't know if Milchik has a Twitter, nor Harmony. Now, if you refer to me, yes, I have a Twitter. It's in the link in the bio. Uh, anyone wants to answer? Let's see here. <clears throat> the new episode is up. I'm going to watch so bad. By the way, for the discussion. Cool. I appreciate you, Skylar. Uh, yeah, we can. I mean, you guys can turn it on now while we're having this discussion so we can talk about certain scenes and uh, what is this? Oh, I just want to finish. <laughs> I hear you, mad. Hey, we'll talk about season two uh, in this discussion as well. Um, almost time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is I'm looking at the times cold. This is even before we went live. So <laughs> what's going on, Johnny? Yes. <laughs> here Ooh, what a what an individual what a family uh what a family there i love the cut thank you so much and thank you for stopping by uh you you were one of the people that definitely uh put me onto the show so i appreciate you and i appreciate the, all the love uh your audi's freaking out listen my audi's freaking out my innie's freaking out everything and part of me is freaking out when i saw this finale it was just it was crazy it was really really good uh and and, and also too if you didn't enjoy it this is an open you know fun community if you didn't enjoy it that's fine too let's have a discussion about it and uh, and figure out what's wrong with your chip inside your <laughs> no, i'm joking if you all didn't like it uh, it's totally understandable we can have that discussion because you know let's be honest there were some uh, plots that didn't get completely uh you know fleshed not fleshed out but didn't get you know all the answers which you know it's a season two you can't give us all the answers but i can totally understand that if some people feel maybe a little underwhelmed but again we we welcome any and all healthy conversations about this fantastic show I literally watch eating waffles see uh and, and by the way what's going on um you know when i look at waffles now i just can't help but to just start you know dancing and putting on a mask and just while it out but <laughs> All right. Well, everyone, thank you again for tuning in. What's going on, Cassandra? And everyone in the chat, I appreciate you all. So where where to begin? What, where do you all want to start this conversation tonight? Do we want to talk about, you know, what reveals that we got first? You know, whether it be Irving and that trunk full of information he found with, you know, severance employees with their information like what, what where'd you get this list from who is uh dalton how was dalton tied to irving was it a friend was it his pd you know i said in my review if you all got a chance to check it out if you did i appreciate it but i said in my review that i dropped uh you know last hour maybe dalton and irving were friends and irving is kind of doing what we're seeing you know mark do and discovering all the evil deeds and we talked about in the last week's review we know that there's several protocols one of them is, you know, branch transfer. One of them, you know, I can't think of verbatim the name, but like, you know, it wiped your mind clean. So maybe Irving was on to something. They found it out. They wiped his memory. And now he's, you know, rehashing, uh, uncovering all the different stuff here. I mean, wh wh what do you guys, what do you want to start? Where do we want to start? Do you want to talk about Heli, a.k.a. Helena, uh, again, I, I, I made a theory video and, and a lot of my theories didn't come true, but I... But the one did come true in regards, <laughs> excuse me, in regards to Helena and her um, family tree and who she's connected to is no other than Jane Egan. Ah, it's it's so much, it's so much. And then, oh my gosh, my heart. How was your heart when Mark found that picture of Gemma and and yelled out to his sister, "She's alive!" and couldn't even tell his sister. Oh, it's so much. It's so much to get into. Uh, let me see here. Let me see. Let me catch up to the chat here. We got so many wonderful people in the building showing some love. Uh, Heli is Helena. I died. Me, me and you both had the same funeral date thing because I died too. I knew. Yeah, it was. Again, I wasn't on the the week to week with you all for the first seven weeks of the show, but when I was binging it two weekends ago. I'm like, dude, there has to be something more important about Kelly because of the the way that they're reacting to her, the way that they, you know, acting and just won't let her go. And then the really the telling sign for me was uh, what I mentioned last week's review, episode eight, that video to me when she, you know, hit her numbers and that video that per it, it seemed very personalized to me. Again, I know it could have been a preloaded video when we see uh, Kier coming up on the screen and saying, congratulations, you did it. But to me, it's just like... I love you. Thank you. That was to me. That seemed very personalized, uh, and I and I think that might be the case as well as you know the conversation 
that she had with Milchick in episode two when they were walking down the uh, corridor and all that stuff. And he's just like, you know, you're doing good. And, and the way he talked about Kier was very similar to someone talking about like the way he Milchick was talking about Kier was just like she knew. Right. It was just like, you know, he took what did he what Milchick said? He eats his breakfast in the morning, two eggs and coffee. It was just like the way he delivered that line was like, you know, because that's your great great grandfather. So <sighs> Helena. It was all her damn fault, wasn't it? She was the one when daddy brought her the product. Oh, daddy, daddy, everyone in the world should have one. But the question we're going to talk about tonight, is that a bad thing to have a chip? Are we under the assumption that Lumen's bad? Can Lumen be a good company? You know, I mentioned in my review tonight, you know, we we uh, we got the information about Irving and his past. You know, he was a, he was a veteran. Maybe Lumen helps people out that suffer from PTSD. We know Mark lost his uh, wife years ago. And uh, Gemma, maybe to help with grief. With, you know, having you forget what happened. So maybe they're not as bad as we think they are. I guess we'll find out in season two. But I'm just, ah, this show, this show just does it to me, man. I'm so in love with this show. I'm so sad that it's off, but we'll be back. We'll be back. The filth and lies. What's going on, Cassandra? All right, so let's let's start off by talking about this episode. So first and foremost, when we set the scene up, I, I mentioned how I, the performance in the show is next level to me. When we see Adam Scott make that switch, and it's always been there, right, for the entire season, but like seeing him, his Audi literally switched to his any and just seeing that switch in the performance and just seeing the posture change the change the cadence in his voice change it's just the performances and seeing all of our different characters you know i i don't think i've didn't really realize it to the finale that all of our characters you know mostly mark because we spent the most time with him but in this episode in particularly we see the other side of the characters right it, besides we didn't unfortunately get to see dylan's audi which we'll talk about him I don't know if Dylan's a good dad, if he's a bad dad. You know, he has three kids that we find on this episode. Is he running away from his kids and going in this? Or maybe something, uh, maybe something not as bad. But neither here nor there. Going back to seeing Mark's Audi any in a drop of a dime. Seeing Heli, Helena's Audi any in the same episode as well as obviously Irvin. I just think the, <sighs> the performances don't get enough credit. I really hope this show, not that awards validate how I feel about the performances, but I really hope it gets its um, nominations that it deserves because this the performances are next level to me, in my opinion, man. I mean, I've always been a fan of these actors, especially Adam Scott from, you know, Parks and Rec. And one of my favorite performances of his was, uh, you know, <laughs> and Step Brothers and the abs and all that and his whole family. But no, I'm, seriously, I think that the performances were just next level. And w what is it about directors uh, like a Ben Stiller? like a uh you know a bill hater for my barry fans out there or jason bateman for my ozark fans what i knew ben i mean i've always been a ben stiller fan i've never i i know he directed one movie i haven't seen or he directed maybe a couple movies that i haven't gotten a chance to see yet but this is my first time being exposed to ben stiller the director oh my gosh <laughs> and all the directors in the show is fantastic but this in particular i didn't know ben stiller had that in him in regards to the just the the way he puts the show together the way he puts the pacing together the way he sets up his shots the way that it's just again he's not the creator of the show but he's heavily involved in producing the show and been there since the the conception of this idea of the show so listen i can go on and on and on about the direction the writing the performances but the characters that's what i came back for every single week is diving deeper into these characters and we do so in this opening scene when we see mark having a conversation with harmony which i guess let's have a conversation about character wise after tonight's episode how are you all feeling about harmony in regards to we still haven't got the definitive answer of her where her loyalty lies we obviously know she worships Egan. She worships the whole idea in serving Egan. But her loyalty isn't with the board. We damn sure know her loyalty isn't with Natalie. <clears throat> her friendship still seems to be somewhat there with Milchik. But the Mark angle, my whole thing, I thought that the whole, and again, we got a season two to explore this, but I always felt like she was, she felt guilt maybe for maybe being involved in Gemma's death, especially because we know she knows what happened to Gemma, but was she directly involved in her death? 
is she i know people are theorizing she might be a relative i don't i don't see that angle but harmony where are you all at with harmony especially after tonight's episode her going back i thought that she was done with you know lumen after firing her but she still is on on uh on the payroll i guess you could say and you know maybe she man it's just so many thoughts going on in my head like does she have her own do they have their own variation of a of a chip that's not necessarily uh you know have all the protocols in place like the regular employees like i'm just so fascinated by her and her whole get up and her whole uh motivations and what she stands for and why she again is so like infatuated with mark not in a romantic sense but just in a sense of just being so caring and and being there for his sister for you know all the different i don't know man i just is so much to explore with that character and i'm so excited to do so next season but man i'm just i, I just don't know what the what the come up with when it comes to this character uh let's see happy mark is quitting angry at lumen but tries to save the day yeah, I don't know if he's going to be quitting anytime soon. <clears throat> That's the thing, too. Like, what now? You know, he's at the party. I, and I really do hope when we pick up next season, we pick up at that moment. But he's at the party. He says what he says. And, I mean, obviously, everyone in the party heard him. But more importantly, his sister heard him. What do you do then? And, again, this brings me back to the conversation we were talking about tonight. Or not tonight, but in last week's review are we going to see one of these programs be put on our characters? And particularly, are we going to see a clean slate? Are they going to clean slate the our, our, uh, empl our you know, our, our main crew? Is, is everything that Mark learned in this episode, his Audi, is going to be completely wiped out? Can they somehow affect your, your Audi? Can they wipe the mind of the Audi and any? And it's literally a clean slate, so... Because again, Milchik, he's in the security office. He knows those keys and buttons. And I can just see him season two premiere going over to that computer and hitting that clean slate button and everyone's memory being wiped. That would suck because we built up to that point for them just to start all over again. That would be pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> Not bad as far as writing, because obviously the show is great in writing, but I would be kind of upset if they have to start from scratch per se, right? But um yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm very curious on how they're going to, like, handle that. And if our characters will remember what they, the reveals that they have, the revelations they found, or where they have, again, that clean slate element of it all. Let's see here. We got, I think Elephant is the Cure family just getting a planet generation after generation to new hosts. Yeah, that's a great point there, especially when we see the conversation in the restroom with, uh, you know, daughter and dad talking about, I want you by my side when I'm revolving. So is that him retiring? Is that another word for retiring? Or, you know, he's his his time as CEO is coming to an end and daughter take the reins. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, clean slate all. Yeah, I think that might be something <clears throat> that unfortunately might get implemented on our characters here is unfortunately that clean slate uh, being implemented on on uh, on all of them. But I want to talk about, again, just kind of setting the mood and setting the scene for opening up the show. I thought the opening was just so fantastic. The way that we, again, the way, let me see if I have a picture of it. The way that they open the episode and we see that moment when the characters, we're so used to seeing the character, like the camera zooming in when they go under the elevator or when they go down to the elevator to their workplace. But seeing that like outside of an elevator and the way that it was like put together was just like so fascinating to me. Like I can't get over the opportunity to see these performances and seeing our characters trying to piece together like who they are where they are and if i'm being honest they they, they played it pretty cool if you ask me like if i was in their position and i'm you know heli and finding all this stuff she played it pretty cool in regards to mark too uh or obviously urban didn't have the opportunity to kind of bounce off someone like the other actors did and their um you know audi's coming out or their any's coming out so oh here it is here this is the yeah, this is the shot i was referring to just seeing them again coming into their outside lives their real lives per se um and in that moment was just phenomenal 
I mean, look, it's just so phenomenal, so phenomenal. And and I want to get you guys' thoughts on this too, in regards to just I, I had a, a comment in my review tonight. Are philosophically speaking, are our innies really who they are inside? You know what I'm saying? Like, just think of Mark. We've never seen the Audi Mark being happy besides the moments he had with his sister, besides the moments he had with him. He was going on the date with the young lady that that's slipping me right now, the, the doula. But besides those moments, Mark was very reserved, very um, like a recluse, very obviously grieving for the loss of his, loss of his, um, his wife. Are we, when we see our main actors or main characters in at work, is that who they are inside maybe you know mark's a little bit more happy a little more live lively a little bit more free going you know same could be said about irving and his you know being you know uh, loving art uh the relationship that he had with burke is that something that he explores on his audi is it something that he keeps inside you know things like that um you know heli or helena i should say is she someone that we assume is part of the legacy part of the continuation of the the uh the family name or does she internally are all the the rebellious nature we see for heli in the entire season that was who she really was like she doesn't want to do this she doesn't want to be a part of this company if it is indeed you know an evil company as we're perceiving it to be so i'm very fascinated in that aspect if the innies are truly who the audis really want to be or who they really are as people uh it's something that really fascinates me um csl in the casino one of the best finales ever it was great man <clears throat> it's finales to me I, I've, I've watched tv so you know so many great shows so many great uh you know series and sometimes those landings they don't stick the landing but i think that they definitely stuck the landing with this for me personally and i'm right there with you too uh csl in regards to like i was on the edge of my seat throughout the entire episode like i couldn't couldn't sit down i couldn't stop you know biting my nails and turn stomach turning it's when they put him in his new body are you referring to um Irving and uh, Johnny. Um, I'm only halfway through. We'll take your time, finish it up, and come back and join the conversation. Um, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see. Let's see. Devin about to blow this thing up, and she knows about. Yeah, I really do hope that she takes the advice that she was giving her brother going to the media because I think the police uh, probably. You know, it seems like people at a higher governmental level, we can maybe assume that police force are, you know, involved in Lumen some way, somehow. Um, so, yeah, going to the media and blowing that up could be the possibility. But <clears throat> I just wonder, you know, is it going to be some way, somehow? Because we see that they're in Lumen's very, they finesse, they could finesse the media, they could finesse the stories. We saw the article that Irving found regarding the employee that, um, you know, spoke up about, you know, being injured at work and covering up stuff like that. So they know how to finesse the game. Right. So we'll see if she's able to do if she's able to get the word out there. If, if there's because, I mean, there's nothing stopping her. Right. You know, if, if the whole angle for a split second, if, if um, Harmony had took her child, Eleanor, that could have been leverage like shut your mouth or you will never get your daughter back but she you know she did give her a daughter back which i'm just trying to think of i don't know what my mind's going to this dark space in regards to harmony being the the caretaker of eleanor i wonder if there is something there not to, to the point that she put a chip in a baby's head but i wonder if there is some leverage that um harmony has over uh, Devin to not reveal anything. Um, I, and I had this weird feeling too about Rickon all this season. I, I was, I jokingly said it in one of my videos that maybe Rickon's a part of the board. Every time we heard the board, it was just like one person, just one word answers like, yes, you know, so that would be a crazy thing if Rickon somehow, some way is involved, even though we know he's against the, at least we think he's against the severance program, but I don't know, that would be pretty wild. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just very curious on what would stop Devin from doing that, blowing up the spot and going to the media uh, again. They, they, you know, they don't have to necessarily believe it right off the bat, but especially again, we don't know. We know that there's a group of people. There's a resistance that does not like severance. It feels like it's against people will. But what about the rest of the world? As we found in this episode, when um, 
Helena said that, you know, when I was younger, hundreds and thousands of brothers and sisters around the world. It's a, it's a global you know, business. So like, how does the rest of the world feel about it? Again, if we're assuming that this is a bad company, what if they do good? What if they're saving lives? Again, what if they're curing, you know, uh, grief and PTSD and dementia and, and just different things like that? What if a lot of people, you know, appreciates the program? Again, you know, I sound like a, a severance employee <laughs> right now. I got a chip on my head, but I don't know. I don't know. I think is there's a, a lot more to explore. Uh, does Milchick live at? It seems like it. Uh, Sci-fi comic guy, it, it, like he's always the outfit, the the wear. It, it, he's always there when we when we were not when we were in the outside. We would see him in the inside. He always seems to be on the premises. So yeah, I wonder if he if he at all is. Um, well, he didn't. He left the when he went to Dylan's house. We know that he left there. But yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if he lives there full time. I don't even know if Milchick's human. <laughs> you know, my whole thing about the testing floor, are they testing, you know, robots or synthetic robots or I don't I don't know, man. I'm very curious to learn more about Milchick if we ever get to that point of exploring the character. I mean, I'm I'm gonna be honest, not every show, not every character needs a full backstory, needs a full explanation of who they are, where they come from, you know, what they eat in the morning. I do like the fact that sometimes you can keep a, a character mysterious, but Milchick is definitely a character I would like to explore a little bit more, but also keeping a little bit of that mystery to him. Harmony's mom and Gemma being a clone. Harmony's mom, um, well, we know uh, Charlotte, if I'm not mistaken, Cobalt. We assume that's her mom because it's, you know, it was what, 1944. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, there, there could be some, again, going back to my whole her loyalty and cure. And I, I thought it's so funny to cure. I, I might be, I, th I think you pronounce it cure, which if so, I, I think it's funny that his name's cure and cure. He's curing people per se, if you want to look at it that way. And he may be. You know, maybe she lost her mom and she wants to be able to get her back or get her memories back of a certain extent. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely something to say about it, especially Gemma and the clone, because, you know, I, I assume when she died, they had a funeral. They had a body. Um, so, you know, how did they dig her? You know, if I'm Mark, not to get dark and sinister, you know, I am a horror fan. But if I'm Mark, I'm going to her, her, grave, her graveyard and see if her, the bones and the body still there. But I don't know, man. This is so much to explore about, again, the testing floor, what it all means. You know, uh, again, going back to your your comment here, Johnny, about clones being involved. It's just, it's just so much. It's so much to explore. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. For sure. How many hours before the series appears? Um... Well, the series, is, season one's uh, here and ready to take in, my friend. Just to name any kind of sounds like um, that's your real person. That's that's what I'm saying, um, Julia, in regards to I, I feel like there's some type of subconsciousness where we're seeing bits and pieces of the personality. I mean, Irving's a perfect example of that. We know, you know, there, and, and going back to my one video in regards to the defici deficiency in the chip, when you fall asleep at work, which they do say don't sleep at work, right? We see that his consciousness, he slipped into what he did outside, which was the black goo, right? And all that stuff. And then when he goes home, he remembers what, you know, what happens at work. So there is something to be said about the personalities, you know, bits and pieces of the who they really are as people being who they are in the office and vice versa to a certain extent. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of great stuff there. A lot of great stuff uh audi mark is taming yeah 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 for sure that's what i'm saying yeah like, like i would love to see great question by the way and i'm totally right there with you that's another character that you know another plot that i can see maybe people were maybe a bit upset with because oh man what was that episode six or five or six was the last time we saw her um the surgeon who got rid of grinder's body and took care of that like yeah what happened to her are there other surgeons that are on her side you know so yeah i think that's definitely a, a plot line to explore in, in a season two and dylan's son didn't seem too surprised to see milchick hanging with his dad um i mean yeah besides milchick you know <laughs> telling him you know i told you to, whatever he said to him but yeah that yeah it's a good point it's a good point you wonder how many times that's maybe been done before I don't think the employees are actually working. I think the severance is the work that, and they're trying to transfer consciousness in other bodies. 
yeah, that's a theory I saw out there too. Um, I guess too, let me know in the comments, you all, what, what are we thinking about? What the hell do they do? <laughs> what are they doing? The numbers, the goats, uh, the baby goats, um, you know, the reserving of, of paint, uh, the paintings that we saw throughout. Uh, you know, what, what is it? The recycling, uh, the, the printing, the printing uh, to, to, to redo the recycling bottles. Like, what is it exactly that they do? So, you know, that's a, a, a interesting concept there, especially if we're talking about the whole idea of maybe your physical body deteriorating, your mind is broken, and somehow, some way you can transfer consciousness into other bodies i don't know now i'm just i'm sipping that uh that sci-fi juice i don't know it's so much to to really explore with that why do you think this guy claimed he found eleanor why do you think this guy bluetooth why do you th oh that that one guy the black guy uh who was like oh i think he like from when we first met him in episode one he was he just seemed like that type of person that wants credit always needs credit wants validation so i think that he was just like uh he just wanted brownie points with fourth rick and because everyone worships the ground he works or walks on um so i think that's why he was just like i found her i found her. just wanted like brownie points i don't think there was nothing uh more than that it could be could be wrong you know maybe he's behind it all <laughs> no but i think it was just a matter of him being um the one that just wanted credit dylan is one bad ass mf yeah he is dylan's my guy dylan's my guy um one of my favorite characters of the show uh and, and that actor uh if someone in the chat can let me know that actor name is great man um you know he's been in some marvel films small cameos the most besides the show obviously the most i've seen him in was in success succession season two uh which is another fantastic show if you all haven't watched succession it's it's great um the episode where rome has to go and i'm not spoiling anything for those that haven't seen it but one of our main characters has to go to like a training program um the theme park and his that actor was there and i thought that's when i was talking about this guy is great like his comedic timing is perfect <clears throat> but yes Jill is a bad and by the way i was like he has to hold the damn switch the whole 40 minutes like the switch doesn't just like automatically just stick in place i found that to be like weird it's not like an atomic bomb when you have to like switch to you know in all the movies i've never been near a time but when they have to like switch the key at the same time like that seems so like inconvenient to like sit there and hold it for that long of a period of time i guess the protocol you wouldn't normally have to hold it that long but i thought that was kind of weird um uh, which now i'm just diving deeper into my my thoughts when we saw dylan get woken up in his audi by the um over time protocol who was the other people holding who were the two other people uh because we've only seen griner and milchick in harmony who was the other person that was holding that switch while dylan was being woken up i don't know my mind just wanders off about these wonderful questions how will lumen do damage control with mark that 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 we, we talked about that earlier right it could have been you know i would have thought that they would have kept the daughter eleanor which again not to get dark but again i don't think harmony implemented a chip when she was like babysitting her throughout the time i don't think she put a chip in the baby's head but you know we talked about cloning earlier maybe they do have eleanor <laughs> maybe this isn't ellen i don't know i don't i don't know if they'll get that far but who knows because that's the only thing right now that i think that they can hold over her is having their having the child obviously they have mark when he's at work if he decides to go back but yeah i don't know what would stop them from damage like you mentioned there so we'll find out <clears throat> shout out to dylan mvp go to episode two the team on his, but yeah that's you know true definition of taking one for the team like if i i tell you right now i couldn't you know i have to like work out my pecs and do like that was that, that was a lot man to be holding that like that in an awkward position again it'll be funny if like milchick came in like it snaps in place dummy <laughs> like if he found out he didn't have to hold it but clearly he did because as soon as he let go it <clears throat> the switch went back on or went off i should say but dylan yeah he's a real mvp he's a real mvp for sure you were suspecting suspecting that milchick lives in the area where people live on pd's map you were suspecting that milchick lives in the area where yeah that's a good point and i'll have to rewatch that episode too because there were some other names on the map that i didn't really catch when i watched it to the first time <laughs> Do, 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 do. the guy who discovered the baby might be a, maybe again I, I didn't <clears throat> i didn't think too much of that guy besides him just being a 
you know, look at me, everyone. I'm cool. I know everything. So he might, yeah, he might be. Nilla needed some serious duct tape. <laughs> exactly. Where was the duct tape, Dylan? Come on. You got so many stuff in your in your drawer. You didn't have any duct tape, man. You didn't think it out, man. You didn't think it out. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And again, I appreciate it. we got what 71 people watching live. We're about 37 minutes in. Um, you know, I, I said I was gonna kind of just talk for maybe about 15, 20 minutes. And then if you all want, um, if you want to come onto the stream, we can maybe have some people join into the conversation. If you guys, of course, feel comfortable with doing so. If you have a camera, you have a light, <clears throat> and you want to be on screen, you can definitely do so. So if that's something you guys want to do, I can maybe drop the stream link in the actual uh stream here and invite you on uh you know i'm i, I trust you i don't feel like we're gonna get any like weirdos on the stream and you know with um you know the shirts off or the, or <laughs> we get some uh uh, uh waffle party <laughs> characters in the stream so definitely no masks clothes on if you guys want to do it that's something you guys want to explore because it is an open uh, uh spoiler discussion so if you guys want to come on to the stream we could maybe do that in a couple minutes from now but um yeah duct tape would have been helpful for sure um do you think and oh and by the way 70 people watching live appreciate you so much if you could do me a favor that little thumbs up button if you can hit that button uh that'd be really really cool i'm really appreciative of uh i really, really appreciate that uh and also share the uh the video to anyone you know that loves this show just as much as we do and can, again leave these awesome comments and i'm gonna try to get to as many comments as possible uh because you guys have some incredible theories and, and stuff that i've loved reading uh in the comment section so definitely continue that conversation but harmony was an orphan raised by lumen so how is charlotte her mom yeah that's a good point um or at least she thought her mom again we if we're assuming that lumen is taking these test subjects a la uh a Gemma, maybe charlotte is a, a test subject of a sorts and, and maybe that's what harmony you know discovers you know her mom has been alive or works for lumen or is on a testing floor you know that can be something to explore which speaking of exploring what are our what are our thoughts about the governor and um what's her name gabby why does she have a chip in her to make her forget pregnancy forget pain again going back to my idea of lumen being a company industry to help people you know, through moments of pain, moments of grief, stuff like that. What do we think about the the governor and his uh, wife, Gabby? Yeah, Oof, I would, that would break my heart if so. Uh, how did Irwin have the ability to drive? What memories do any of retain? Yeah, that's a, you know, that's a really great question. I asked myself that when I was watching the show, like in general, like normal functionalities, normal ways of communication, like human interaction. I mean, it, it just... The chip, you know, as they explained, just just takes out your memories for just like what you do outside of work, but not necessarily how you function uh, to a certain extent. So I just assume it was just um, a part of his memory, like memory muscle. You know how to drive on the outside, and it doesn't, you know, shut that part off, off shut that part off your brain to not know how to drive. I assume, you know, I, I'll have to read the handbook <laughs> to clarify that. Do you think Milchuk might accidentally um, stack Dylan? Do you think he might? I mean, he's going to do something to Dylan. He's going to wipe his memory or, you know, do one of those scary protocols that we talked about earlier. He's going to, you know, put him on the on the beehive protocol. <laughs> he's going to put him on a um, freeze frame. He's going to freeze frame Dylan. And all next season, Dylan is going to be like this. He's going to be stuck in that position like he was all night in 40 minutes. That's what that's what Dylan, that's his punishment <laughs> for next season. No uh, coffee cozies. No, uh, uh, what does he say? Paintball for Dylan next season. <laughs> Scary numbers. Yeah, what the heck do the numbers mean? What do they mean? All right, let's see here. <clears throat> the title sequence featured nine elevator doors. Great point. Oh, that's fantastic. I didn't even really realize that. That's that's a great point. Space on that. Oh, this is where we get into the 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 real minutia of it all and in, in conversations. Okay, free will, which I'm always a fan of when shows and stuff tackle that. Um, mortality, love, friendship. Hello, Troy. Okay. Very, very thoughtful comment there. <laughs> Thought provoking. Um, let's see here. Let's see. <clears throat> let's see here i would like to know why helena chose to be severed so i think 
and I'll read the rest of your comment here, which by the way, appreciate you uh, leaving this awesome comment. The first part of your question there, or um, I think when she was a little girl, it's just, you know, one of those situations where you were just raised to believe that, you know, they were doing good, will continue to do good. This will help and cure the world. So I think at a very young age, she's kind of, I don't want to say brainwashed, but you know, I can't think of any other word than to use it that way. So I think she's just been kind of raised that way, which goes back to my whole conversation about the the innies really being who the outies are so she is she maybe doesn't want to go on with this right she doesn't maybe want to push the chip to everyone like she told her dad at a young age you know so i think uh you know she chose to do that because it's in her blood you know it's her family legacy uh like what's her backstory that's something i think we will explore does she have other you know siblings um you know where's her mom I don't know if they mention her mom at all. Um, as far as who is the current CEO is married to, <clears throat> I don't know if she's still alive. So I would like to, you know, see that stuff besides being an Egan. But why would they need to be severed if their own? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if the CEO has a chip. If she, because again, she was at a much older, much older age. They didn't put the chip in her when she was a child. So she chose to do that. Um, and I guess the question at hand is, you know, again, to your point, why would she do that? They seem to really want <clears throat> to test these the, the chip, right? And the, the effectiveness of the chip. And that was the whole reason why, you know, they were, you know, having Mark being so integral to this season and him having his wellness sessions with with um, with his wife, Gemma. Um, obviously, we know that the chip is, is, is not perfect. It has its weaknesses. It has its flaws. As we mentioned with Irving, when you fall asleep, your consciousness is, you know, what you, you know, your thoughts outside seep into your inside and, and vice versa. So, yeah, I think there, she's such a, I don't know, it's, again, that would be so fascinating to know why the daughter of the CEO would want to go through this program. And I'm going to probably, you guys probably later in the chat when I catch up, have some, some great thoughts on that, but great questions. Uh, and, and again, appreciate you uh, leaving that, that awesome comment there. I'm excited to be a part of it. Yeah. She definitely, she said it right in her video little video they had as she was like lumen's awesome and it brings severance brings people together like sipping the kool-aid why don't you it's overflowed with the kool-aid yeah exactly uh let's see here um all right so let me and again i appreciate you all with the great comments here 100 percent. that was definitely when i got there and that song by the way is like fire i love that i think it's called four tempers is the is the name of the song it is it's 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 it's, it's fire it's a fire uh but again like i said if you guys want you don't have to but if someone wants to hop on and and leave a uh on the stream talk to the community give your thoughts these predictions overall thoughts favorite characters favorite episodes we can maybe do that for the next 15 <clears throat> 20 minutes if you guys feel comfortable you don't have to no pressure i can solo this thing as we've been doing so far for the last 44 minutes but again if you guys want to have this open discussion bring you guys in to the chat we can definitely do so or just again continue to leave your thoughts in the comment section and i'll try to get to those questions um or concerns or predictions or theories as uh, as much as I can because there's a lot of comments and again I appreciate these awesome comments and I appreciate all you all watching live and just a friendly reminder thumbs up share it uh, subscribe if you haven't already and come and join the community to the pregnancy yeah so definitely like an idea of her Gabby taking it to <clears throat> forget the pain <laughs> um there was the governor though yeah and by the way you see how we doing this evening uh so glad and by the way she is like me a new uh severance fan she binged it uh she told me the other day she binged it uh similar to like i did like in a, a couple days and she all she got caught up so uh, appreciate you nancy so glad you're able to join tonight's discussion um let's see the wife has a chip so she doesn't have to go through pregnancy yeah i, I think it's, it's it's just that simple uh as johnny put it that i think that's uh, again going back to what i think about the whole severance program you know outside of work right people can use it for pain for suffering for you know stuff like that memory loss things of that nature omg i thought they were gonna put oh that would have been terrible that would have been so bad i hope they don't i hope they don't um do you think the governor is severance too at this point i don't know why not 
he's you know he's so against the he's so with the program that i think why not be a part of the program and put that chip in my head too and make me forget about being a good governor i don't know or senator i think he's a senator but yeah i think he probably uh i wouldn't be surprised if their kids have a chip in their head because they are so believers of the program did anyone else notice one of the papers saying that dylan was 53 did it let me see if i have a screenshot of one of those and also too it could have been another dylan i don't know if it had their last name i don't know if you all can see that um and plus there was like multiple pages I only got one page here um i'm gonna have to rewatch that uh because he had 53 <laughs> if he's 53 he's the best looking 53 well you know he's, he doesn't look 53 i'll just say that <laughs> uh but maybe again maybe it was another dylan because again it was um uh you know a bunch of other employees on that sheet there but yeah i mean i don't, I don't know if dylan is 53 but uh, i'll have to rewatch it and, and, and catch that and by the way do we know dylan's last name by the way um doo -doo 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 -doo. i'm also curious too like the heli helena reveal number one why did they change her name and i wonder like did they because with all the information they have on the the house and the the wall of teeth and the you know all the previous ceos i wonder if they have like like their information of you know J jame egan father of helena uh, husband of whatever grandson of whatever so i wonder like did they not know about the extended family and, and that's why they had to give her a different name um i don't know i'm just curious on that if like if they knew of the other members of certain family members prior to that reveal i'm just curious on that element there just thinking out loud just thinking out loud uh let's see here let's see do 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 but by the way great uh great observation there what was the book link what was the book link with the brother-in-law the book link with the brother-in-law like the uh moonlight you're talking about like um like the connection to the book that Rick and wrote. Um, Cause if that's correct me if I'm wrong, I'll try to catch up to your comments a little bit later. Cause we know in the, you know, when they were at work, they found the book because Heli um, or Devin and Rick and dropped off the book at uh, Mark's, his Audi's house. And then, you know, Harmony saw that she took the book, you know, Milchick kind of, you know, uh, he left it in that office. And then we know that, um, you know, Irving and all of them found it and they, they took that as like their Bible, right? It's it like struck a nerve with them. So again, correct me if I'm wrong, if that's what you're referring to, but the link was to the book was that was what they were reading when they were in, um, when they were working and they really like took, took, um, <clears throat> his words to account. They really loved his words. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. A lot of great comments, guys. So many great comments here. Uh, we got a super chat showing some love. No comment here, but bad one is always just uh, a great supporter of the of the community. And I really appreciate you being a part of the community, uh, being someone that recommended the show to me as well. So I appreciate the love and the uh, with the super chat, the four ninety nine. And by no means you guys have to support the channel financially. Just liking the video, sharing it, commenting it is just as much support as you know the fine, the the, the dollar dollar. But uh, if you guys feel so inclined to donate to the channel, goes all to the channel, it will be greatly appreciated. So bad one, I really appreciate the love and the support there with that super chat um i think this super creepy yeah let's let's pull up the the picture of hella hella that's hella heleny <laughs> heleny no hella uh helena's dad here let me see if i have a picture of her dad i think i have it somewhere in here yeah he definitely looked yeah there he is i don't know which one looks better this the 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 um wax figure or the actual character <laughs> yeah he definitely was a creep man he looked very creepy did, did they were the good casting you know I, this i don't want to say resemblance but i can see how the show can say yeah that's her dad and it's you know the the look you know she has that obviously different hair color which again makes me wonder who her mom is is she a redhead um but yeah he definitely looks like a wax figure <laughs> And to answer your second point there, uh, voices, was that Cure Egan? No, that was uh, uh, Jame. I think they call him Jame uh, without an S. Uh, that's the current CEO of uh, Lumen, who is the um, 
the son of of Cure, who passed away. What did he run the company? 1939 to 1925, I want to say. Um, so yeah. Which, by the way, if that's the case, I mean, he's, we don't know when he was born, but I mean, again, if we're assuming that they're cooking up some, you know, clone serum in the back office there, then, you know, you might be able to live a little bit longer than, than, uh, than most. So, but yeah, very, very interesting looking individual, but, um, I'm very curious to learn more about the family legacy. Yeah, that was Jane. Yeah, Jane. Okay. So they don't pronounce it or they don't have an S at the end. Let's see. Megan says, I thought it was weird when Gabby said she couldn't find the bottle. Maybe it means she still uses her in the anatomy. Possibly. Possibly. What are the effects of, you know, again, the, 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 the chip is not perfect. We, again, just not to repeat myself, but the chip does have its, you know, weaknesses. We talked about the waking up or <clears throat> falling asleep and how, what that going to do to you and how that can affect you. You know, obviously we know, you know, Pete, Petey, his chip uh, wasn't all the way perfect. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely some kinks that need to be worked out in the chip because it is definitely not perfect. Um, let's see here. Voices says, so the uh, so Irving has PTSD for the military service. Is that why? Yeah, so I mentioned a uh, great comment, by the way, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm on the same wavelength with you guys. I mentioned in my review tonight that I believe that, again, going back to maybe they're not as as bad as we think they are but yeah people that suffer from grief a la mark uh for the wife losing his wife people who served in the military who suffers from ptsd and then witness terrible things while serving you know very similar to mark they want to just be free of that for eight hours a day five days a week 40 hours in total so that could be the case right that they help people in need of um <clears throat> memory to be suppressed for eight hours so yeah my theory is irving is that he couldn't be with Bert. Um, that's why he got himself severed. Couldn't be with Bert. So you you think he knew Bert prior to working at Lumen, which correct me if I'm wrong, <clears throat> Burke has or Irving has worked for the company for over nine years and worked for his the, the, the mining department for three years. So you're theorizing that they might have known each other outside of work. That was, that's interesting. Very interesting. <clears throat> and he yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, and by the way, can we just take a moment? Can we just take a damn moment to appreciate these two here? <laughs> what a, a, a wonderful story that I did not expect from this show. Uh, I mean, living legends here, John Totoro, and, and, and I used to, listen, I used to know how to talk like a Christopher Walken back in the day. I used to do like a pretty decent impersonation. It's been a while, so I don't know if I can... Uh, I'm not going to try. But again, shout out to these living legends, Bert <clears throat> and our boy Irving, which by the way, was it me? Or did you all guys get, did you get teared up when he went to the door and he saw him with his, uh, what we assume to be a healthy, happy relationship that uh, Bert is, is in. And when we see Irving, he looks out the window and banging on the door, Bert, Bert, baby, come back. <laughs> I love that relationship. I love those two. Again, to me, they're living legends. I've always been a fan of Christopher Walken. Uh, I've always been a fan of John Turturro. Uh, and, and just that relationship, how it developed over time, over the season. I did miss Bert for a couple weeks there. Uh, and it'll be really exciting to explore that character more. But yeah, I, I, I love those two. Such incredible uh, actors. And, and I love that story that we got there. But yeah, going back to that theory you mentioned. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting. Very interesting. Again, I theorized... That I think that um, going back to this photo here, that maybe Irving knew this individual. Let me move that banner out the way right here. Because if you guys saw the banner, or, or not the banner, but read the article, it said that basically a gentleman by the name, I don't know if it's clear, let me know if it's clear on your end. But a gentleman by the name of Dalton... Emroy was a, a severance employee and very similar to you know what happened to Mark and what happened to Heli uh there was an accident at work so you know the that article said that he went to his car very similar to what happened to Mark when he got his head hit by Heli um you know you you had an accident at work you know you're okay just brush it off come back and work tomorrow uh but he went to a doctor and it was very you know they, they suggested it was brute force uh 
So when I said when I saw that they said brute force, that to me made me think, oh, maybe Dalton Emroy was a PD of a sorts, was a heli of sorts. He wanted to escape. He wanted to leave this company. And we know what happens when that happens. You know, when you try to leave, they, that's not always welcomed, right? Uh, especially when you're kind of a supervisor or manager or whatever the case may be. So uh, I wonder if Dalton, Emroy, and uh, Irving had a relationship, whether it was, uh, you know, romantically, it was a really close friend, a la, like I said, PD and uh, Mark type situation. Maybe Dalton served in the Marines, served in the Navy, served in the Army with um Irving and maybe that's how they knew each other prior to them you know again going back to our theory about you know people that are veterans they want to suppress the, the PTSD they work for Lumen and uh, so maybe you know Dalton and uh Irving had a you know they were on a tour together so but be really interesting because I don't think you know <clears throat> they would show that and again why that article right which by the way I don't know if there was a time stamp I don't know what year that was but you know that article has huge significance it's not just a random you know person that's complaining about a company i think that that dalton person has a lot of significance and ties to irving um and and you know who and maybe the reasons why he worked for the company maybe this is why he has that severed list you know he was trying to find dalton because we don't know if dalton if he you know <clears throat> they paid him off they killed him off you know they, the, the chip they you know killed him you know terminated him we don't know what happened to him so maybe that was what you know drove irving to work for lumen is to find out what happened to his friend um so yeah i think there's a lot to explore with that <clears throat> and i'm so curious let me pull up a picture here i'm sorry if it's not the most clearest to see but again we know that the article was there we know that the severance paperwork was there i can't see that says logistics so I don't know how he obtained that information. And if you look on the uh, in front of the severance um, sheet there, that looks like uh, blueprints. That looks like a blueprint there. So like, how did he get that access? Right? Is he again? Is he you know scoping out the place, trying to find all the secrets of Lumen? Um, and also, I think that Irving was. <clears throat> he's been transferred multiple times i think i think he used to work in multiple departments a lot of testing floor maybe that's why he's able to remember the testing floor maybe he was on the testing floor at one point uh it's just so much so much my mind my chip is frying right now my brain it's just so much to explore in a season two with all these mystery boxes all these questions what else is in this box who other uh reveals is in this box there's just so much more to explore in a season two and i just can't wait for that season two which by the way speaking of season two it's official we are getting to season two right and i'm and if i i have been following the apple tv uh platform for the, the you know 2019 november i think was the first month it dropped they are so consistent with their shows meaning that they typically like have quick turnarounds like all their shows typically get renewed uh besides like the finney jacob which is still one of my favorite shows in that program but most of their shows are pretty quick with it you know um c 2019 we got season two uh last year uh so a year or almost less than a year uh morning show same thing um uh for all mankind um <clears throat> what was that rose burn show um physical came out like last summer and season two was coming out like in a couple months so like they're really quick with getting the production getting things going i think i read that they're probably going to be i think they're shooting uh severance like next month and if so it'll be prepared and ready to go next year so they're really quick on the ball with the turnover uh so i am uh i would i would i would assume severance started in february of this year i wouldn't be surprised if we get season two by the same time next year like early you know end of the uh, uh winter and uh, early spring i think we can expect 2023 uh to get that that new season and it can't get here soon enough <laughs> it cannot get here soon enough um you know what i would love to this is a complete ta side tangent uh for hbo fans out there euphoria is a really one another one of my uh, favorite shows and this wasn't purposeful they had to do this because they unfortunately had to push production back with everything that went on with the world in the last couple of years but they had like these um specials they had a, a rule special and a jewel special in between seasons one and two i would love if we get like a a one-off like special episode of severance like 
again exploring Helena as a kid maybe like a special episode of like an Egan when she's growing up as an Egan um Dylan him as a dad like an episode of him being a dad and him why he wanted to work for Severance is he a good dad is he hate his kids is he just providing for his family you know something like that would be fascinating or maybe not even like a pivotal character like someone like um Milchik like oh, Ben Stiller, are you out there? Apple TV Plus, are you out there? Let's make this happen. Let's have a day in the life of Milchick episode, like a special one-off episode, just seeing him clocking in, if he even clocks in, if he even sleeps for, for crying out loud, seeing him, you know, his whole day. <laughs> a day in the life of Milchick will be a fantastic, like little in-between moment that we can get from obviously between now and whenever we get season two. I would love that. Just like a one-off special. I know Apple hasn't done this and it's you know almost three years of existence but i would love that wouldn't you all love that just like a special milchick episode or rickon <laughs> a day in the life of rickon him going around giving quotes handing out life lessons to people i don't know i just having fun but i would love that apple if you do that give me a dylan special urban special a harmony special uh or like i said milchick special that would be fantastic that would be so great <clears throat> let's see here let me catch up again we got 75 people still strong in the chat i appreciate you all uh again this is just an open live discussion we're just spitballing throwing things at each other great comments reading some theories this is a lot of fun and i appreciate you all tuning in here um for tonight's live discussion and again <clears throat> it would mean a lot to me if you all can like, share, and continue the conversation. Again, it's, it's late. I know. I'm a night owl, by the way. I just got back from uh, seeing a movie. That's why I couldn't do a little bit earlier. But I got back from seeing uh, from movie fans out there, The Northman. Uh, Robert Eggers, The Northman. I, I saw that tonight. So I'm up. My mind's flickering on all cylinders, uh, clicking on all cylinders. So I'm going to probably be up for another few hours here. <laughs> so yeah, let me, yeah, let me get back to it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Elliot, did you love the season finale? Uh, yes, voices. I certainly did, my friend. I loved it to pieces. Uh, not a lot of shows stick the landing when it comes to finale. And I think this, this definitely stuck the landing. Um, I thought it was fantastic. I, I love this finale. I absolutely loved it. How did what did you think about it, boys? Did you love this finale? And everyone in the chat, what did you all think overall about the finale? Well, I'll check on my dog for a second. Let me know in the chat. Give me a thumbs up if you love the finale. Give me a what's like a mediocre, like oh, it was okay. Give me like a like a just put me yeah, in the comments or give me a thumb downs if you hate it. Let me know that and I'll be right back, guys. All right. And we're back. I hope season two can come back just as quickly as I did. But uh, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, but yes, to answer your question, I loved it. I really did. I, I don't have many complaints at all, if any. Only thing that I complained about, it wasn't even a complaint, was like I felt like it, I wish Dylan was more involved. He was heavily involved. And let me say that incorrectly. He was involved very much so. But I wish he was able to explore. I wish we were, as an audience, able to explore his Audi and his three kids and if he has a wife or a husband. Like I would love to explore that uh, more. But outside of that, you know, of course, we didn't get all the answers. Someone mentioned in the comment. We didn't get more of the surgeon story. We didn't know, learn more about, you know, the senator and his wife, Gabby. Uh, we don't still know what they do. We don't know what the testing floor is. We don't know how Gemma's back. Uh, you know, we don't, you know, there's a lot of unanswered questions. But what they gave us in that 40 minutes to me was very satisfying, if I'm being honest. Very, very satisfying. Uh, I made, I made, I managed you. you episode, you cheated us. Do I know voices. Look, man, not to make a long story short, but to make a short story short, I so I do this segment on my channel every month called like move like new releases for the month, and I you know I do it every single month. I highlight all the new movies and shows, and Severance was on that list uh, for the month of February. Like guys, this is new show. I seen the trailer. Ben Stiller, Adam Scott, suspenseful thriller. It's Apple TV Plus. They always come with the heat. I'm gonna watch it. But what happened was, if you all know, if you're part of this awesome community, I watch a lot of TV shows. I'm, you know, fortunately and unfortunately, because it takes up a lot of my time. I just couldn't find the time to add it in. I was watching Sever or not Severance, but Servant. Uh, what else were we watching? Uh, Euphoria, Raised by Wolves. Um, you know, <clears throat> other things, movies. I watch tons of movies and other stuff. So I just I couldn't. My Audi and my Annie, we couldn't find the time. <laughs> 
but I'm so glad that I that I caught up with you all and, and and we're here to talk about it tonight. I wonder if we'll meet the people of the Severance List in the upcoming season. Yeah, that'll be interesting. I would love to know other departments that are doing that they work, you know, that they do their uh George's okay, appreciate it. Okay, appreciate the insight there. Much appreciated. Um, let's see here. Well, I saw Waffle Party, so I had to click on it. The sexual nature of the Waffle Party performance suggests that they are very weird. Oh, weird. Law student. They were very weird. But um it was it was entertaining. <laughs> I love that scene. I think Bad One talked about earlier. I, I was getting so much eyes wide shut vibes and that that score, that soundtrack that they had playing. It was just I, I love like weird off the wall cuff stuff. Like this this show is weird in general, right? Whenever we would see them partying out of left field, those little um, you know, melon parties and the, you know, all that stuff. The show has a lot of weirdness. And I'm I'm a i am i am love weirdness, especially in my sci-fi. So yeah. Weird is definitely uh one adjective to describe the uh, waffle parties. And I wonder what other orgy parties you can obtain uh when you hit your your monthly goals and i wonder what what happens when you don't meet your monthly goals because they seem to be pretty nervous about the board if you don't hit your goals <clears throat> all right i'm just trying to I, I, again i'm really appreciating all these comments you guys are incredible i think harmony is a clone of someone whose consciousness was originally alive back in the 1930s because that clark people reference we made a few episodes of Super Weird and Random. Interesting. Interesting, 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 interesting. Yeah, that's a, that's I'm just pondering your thought. That's a very interesting comment there. Because I think there is something to be said about switching over consciousness to a new body. Um very interesting. I like that a lot. Um yeah, very interesting. Very interesting comment there. And the way she I'm just trying to think of like the way she even talked at times, like her Audi, her pretend Audi. Um, it, I want to say it was like her cadence sometimes. Some of her word choices was very like, oh, mock, like old school, the you know, 30s, 40s type of um, like the way she would, you know, phrase things. So, yeah, that's a very interesting theory there. I like that a lot, actually. Hoping we'll explore the departments in the season two. Maybe people in other departments serve as well. Yeah. I mean, by the way, I would love that, but please don't like uh, take away our, you know, our main characters and like show it from another perspective. I would love to, you know, meet other characters for sure. Um, but I hope that doesn't take away from like, you know, our main characters here. Both bodies and any share one physical body there, uh, escape from mental pain, Lumen. This is our overall lifestyle. I'm sure that was a great comment there. Very, very great comment. Yeah, voices. I think that she's from the 30s too. She had all. Uh, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Another great, some more evidence there that she might be from the 30s. Trapped in the past, and I'm just, I'm just, you know, just thinking over all the different things that she did this season to to reference an old soul per se. Very old school methods. Um. I'm a, what does she make from Mark early in the season? Like, is that like a <clears throat> that recipe? Like, is that like an old bread? I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting at with the recipes there. But yeah, she's she definitely gives the vibes that she's been she's been on this earth for a while. I thought that we would get a look at the test before I really yeah that would have been like a you know my marble brain that would have been like a post credit scene if we get to the testing floor uh, that would have been interesting. But I think we will definitely be getting more of that in the season two, which means Charlotte was probably her daughter okay so charlotte not her mom but her daughter okay in the 40s okay so what happened to charlotte she was sick Moomin in the infancy well not the infancy they've been around since 1939 we know that from um when cure first started okay okay you, this is this is why we're live this is why we're talking because you guys are awesome you come up with the great stuff man this is what i love about this community john titero is a national treasure i couldn't say it better myself 100 percent um is uh yeah that's what yeah i think we talked i'm i'm, I'm like really behind <laughs> so uh which again i appreciate it keep it coming but yeah i think we talked about that earlier i think that was something that i had mentioned we get memory okay i think i'm catching up no i'm not <laughs> let me get up if severance were on netflix it would reach Netflix. so this is a much larger conversation voices I have been shouting from the, I was shouting louder than Mark was in this episode. She's alive. I've been screaming from the rooftop. Apple TV, 
is lit. I've been trying to tell everyone, man. Like, um, I think it's I had it free for the first couple of years because of my like I got a new iPhone. I think it's four ninety nine. Like, this was me. This is when I see people when people say, uh, "What should I watch? Uh, what's a good streaming service?" I'm I'm Mark Apple TV. It's the best. <laughs> like I think everyone should have Apple TV. Uh, not I, I'm not sponsored by Apple. If I was, that would be awesome. But I'm not. Um, but yeah, I always tell people. Apple TV is where it's at. They don't have the quality, or not the quality, the quantity of Netflix, Hulu, you know, Amazon, HBO, whatever. They have the quality, man. That's what I care about. So I totally agree with you. If it was on another a Netflix, like you mentioned, ooh, which only thing about Netflix, and and one of the things I'm starting to hate because I love these weekly conversations is you know Netflix drops things all at once. If Netflix, if this was on Netflix, I think unfortunately it's a phenomenal show. But just as you know, little conversations, not little, because this is a great community that we have here talking about this. And I'm, you know, new to the community. But I think if it was on, on Netflix, I don't think it would have gotten as much attention as it's got that has it's gotten over these last nine nine weeks. Because Netflix, again, you drop it on one weekend and on, you know, with so many other streaming shows, you know, movies coming back in theaters that I think this show would have maybe not found its audience, unfortunately. So I'm actually glad it didn't find a Netflix. But going back to my initial point about Apple, I think Apple needs to do a better job at advertising, man. There's so many other great shows this will be one of them i'm a fan of m night servant if you all watch those reviews that i do you know ted lasso has obviously uh been getting all the love that it deserves and, and all the awards it's been getting recently but there's so much great stuff on apple tv man i think that people are missing out on great shows like uh severance so yeah I, you know i just hope that I think it's on the right platform because I think Apple gives their creators its free uh, freedom to tell its story. Um, you know, great artists are finding their ways on it. Like, there's so much, so many people are doing things. I mean, Martin Scorsese, one of the greatest directors of all time, he's having a movie. I know he did a movie with Netflix, but he's having his movie with uh, Leo this year on Apple. And there's so many other great directors and content creators and just actors that are finding their way to Apple. So I'm hoping, man, that people peep game and know Apple is where it's at. So, yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, we talked about that fall. No, I think it's going to be earlier than fall, if I'm being honest with you. <clears throat> Skyler, you enjoyed it. Awesome, awesome. Um, all right. So, again, I'm way behind. But does anyone or there any takers out there that would want to come into the stream, um, you know, camera on, lights on, you know, microphone if you have one uh you don't have to be a youtuber you know i know we were all at home for the last couple of years just zooming you know with work and stuff so if you guys want i can throw the straight link into the sh in the chat if you want to hop on and just talk have some fun conversation about the show we can definitely do that again no weirdos no waffle party um you know dancers out there you know just normal people that want to come on and have a conversation i'm more than welcome to give you all the, the stream if you guys want to again no pressure at all no pressure at all um <laughs> it was just kind of running the hallway yeah he was definitely uh didn't go to the school of michael myers and, and jason 40s he was he was you know in those uh those jets he was uh the flash uh oh how was it uh Skylar? i can't talk about well actually the social media embargo uh was lifted <clears throat> and if you guys follow me on twitter um if you don't definitely do so I have some you know pretty good comments every now and then so here was my twitter um actually let me just bring it up here and i'll, I'll let you know uh what i thought about the northman <clears throat> and if any of you all care about the Northman uh, or know what the Northman is, it is the new Robert Eggers, um, director of The Witch. And uh, my personal favorite, The Lighthouse, he uh, made a epic Viking tale, which was just um, something else. I'll tell you, let me see if I can find my tweet. That I put out here it is right here let me share the screen so if you all want to know for my movie fans out there we won't spend too much time on it because we're talking about severance but if you want to know my my brief thoughts after i got out of the theater this is what i tweeted so as you can see on the screen now i said let me uh, zoom in a little bit uh the northman is a journey like no other its storytelling of vengeance is brutal. Robert Eggers does not hold your hand in this epic revenge Viking saga. Skarsgård has never been better, and Anya is incredible. 
nothing can prepare you for this film. I'll just leave it at that, Skyler. Review coming on Monday. Full review on Monday. Uh, so, yeah. I'll just leave it at that. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Uh, knife was dull. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I'm actually wide awake, bad one. Like I, I'm normally up. Like This is when I... This is where I get all my ideas. It's the right around this hour, the witching hour. This is when I get all my ideas. And I'm, I'm actually not tired. I'm actually, you guys are giving me all the energy and love and, and support tonight. So I'm wide awake. Uh, 10 out of 10. Nice, 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 nice. Let's see here. Let's see here. Thumbs up. Yay, we got the thumbs up, gang. Gang, 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 gang. Yeah, you see what Noel and Beauty and, and, and uh, Brooke are saying here. Get a thumbs up. Uh, it would be much appreciated. Uh, look, we got, the, we got the thumbs up. Oh, I'm stupid. This was when I said give a thumbs up in the chat if you enjoyed the episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we can spin it, right? Thumbs up video. <laughs> but no, the thumbs up was when I mentioned again. I'm trying to catch up the chat. This is what I mentioned if uh if you guys enjoy it. <laughs> Good times. Uh what we got here? Uh is that Louis CK? Is that Louis CK himself? Uh yeah. <laughs> anyway. Brooke uh, Robertson, thank you so much for the super chat, the 999 super chat. Appreciate the love and support. Uh, <laughs> the pictures throw me off. Lucy K, yes. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for the love and support. And uh, I appreciate the super chat. Again, if you all want to, you don't have to. No pressure at all. If you want to support the channel, super chats are well welcome. Um, <clears throat> losing my voice here all of a sudden. Uh, super chats are well welcome. Stream laps are open. Uh, and we also have PayPal. If you guys want to support the channel, uh, you know, financially, it'll be muchly appreciated. It doesn't need it. Does not need it by any means. The best way you can support the channel is thumbs up <laughs> thumbs up the video share it and let's continue the conversation here <clears throat> man I'm losing my voice also if heli um could do an snl host a great skit would be two sketches two switches are, are turn and heli is dorothy <laughs> that'd be great that'd be great um true are we spoiled with a lot of great tv yes yeah, so how you doing silver good to see you good to see you so many great shows out there yeah this little the um my man, <clears throat> Sam Jackson. Oh, what a phenomenal actor. I hear that's great. And what's that one? Oh, my gosh. P Pinko? P Pinico? I, I'm butchering that. But it's a new South Korean show that I've heard nothing but fantastic things about that I have to check out. Um, all right. Let's see here. Based on uh, Here's Birth Red, perhaps the Cure family is pro-slave. And after the Civil War, they kept finding... Hmm... I like you. I like you. I want to know how Gemma came into severance. Yeah, me too. She was taken to the hospital, question mark, with the hands in the pie. Did they deliver the con Look. Look. I mean, let's be honest. Let's be honest. This, they, they, they sent one of their... Well, they didn't send her. But one of their employees by the name of Harmony went to a man's funeral with his, with his family, and friends, and loved ones in the next room. Went into his casket and opened the casket, had a drill, and took a chip out of his head. So, yeah, I think that, uh, and if we are assuming, as Devin said, I wouldn't go to the police because who knows how far their, uh, their their influence goes. I wouldn't be surprised if, the, if the, you know, they took her body and, and delivered it at uh, Lumen and experimented on her like the wife of Frankenstein. So that, I, wouldn't put it, I, wouldn't put it, I wouldn't put it past them. <clears throat> All right, here. Let's see. Let's see. Great question. Such a great question. What year does the show take place? The cats look. Oh, that is such a great question, because I'm just trying to recollect in my brain. Did I see an iPhone? Did I see an Android? Did I see a, you know any new technology? Mark had an. Did Mark have an iPhone? I mean, they better have iPhones. It's an Apple show, right? I, which you know, iPhones. What was it? Uh, Mid two thousands is when they came out. Early two thousands. So yeah, that's a great question. I'm trying to think. Is there anything that definitively you know, puts us in a certain year. I definitely would say it's 2000s, even though obviously with their, their equipment at the work is like 1970s, you know, square box computers. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, that's a great question. I'm just trying to think if there was any evidence to give us like a, a not a definitive, but like a good ballpark where, what year this takes place. Car, great point. The cars were very old and, um, 
but they had the you know they had the, the when they had the news stations on that seemed very modern up to date news when they would talk about the senator and and you know when they talked about all the stuff on the news so yeah i'm just trying to think if there was something that like put us in a in a good time frame um yeah and the computers yeah so yeah good question it's a great question um let's see email emmy's oh, sci-fi 100 I, yes please and i mean apple did win best picture with coda which is a fantastic film so emmy's for sure i mean they got they they their shows have gotten excuse me recognition you know season one of morning show i believe jennifer anderson won a, an emmy if i'm not mistaken or at least was nominated her and uh reese witherspoon ted lasso's won his emmy so yeah the people know you know people know apple's got good content it's just um you know just doesn't get as much love as they i think they deserve i wish they did two episodes a night but you're right <clears throat> yeah i love the weekly stuff i'll be honest with you. i love weekly stuff you know i was a binge 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 for many many years but then i just love these conversations the theories we get time to sit with an episode and not just watch it so yeah i love weekly uh shows and, and <laughs> excuse me i'll be honest not all shows need a weekly like not all comedies you know certain genres don't need week to week type of episodes but certain shows uh warrant these type of conversations and thought provoking like sit with it digest it take it all in so yeah 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 yeah, <clears throat> yeah roar does look good uh nicole kitman cynthia revo allison brie uh brie allison one or the other um yeah that looks really good really really good let's see here again i appreciate all we got 77 strong tonight you guys are you guys are night owls like me we might have to um you know find some uh some other shows to tackle we can have these late night discussions we got 77 people watching live and i appreciate every 77 76 now uh watching live uh, again thumbs up would be much appreciated uh sharing the video would be appreciated and any any um wonderful comments theories predictions you guys have in the comments continue it continue it you should schedule ahead might get more takers um yeah let's see here oh we're talking about yeah who bro uh, don't even get me started about that movie uh love the late to the party what's going on g how we doing tonight how we doing so glad to see you tonight so glad to see you <clears throat> slow horse okay that's the new spy thriller, right? With uh, uh, Gary Oldman and uh, oh, I love her. What's her name? Olivia Cook. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks good. Um, MVP Dylan glasses. <laughs> yeah, I know a thing or two about glasses falling off the face. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to catch. I'm, I'm, I think I'm. Oh, I think I caught up. I might have missed some some great stuff here, but I think I caught up here. All right, I think seven takes place in the future. Oh, so you think it's more in the future? Interesting. Interesting. Twenty thirty though. Nothing in the show made it seem so into the future though, right? Especially when people mention the cars and yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. I like that though. Um, let's see here. We are talking about some Netflix stuff. Uh, I love the con yeah, I love that too me too me too um all right I, i'm literally i think i caught up to the chat let me let me scroll up here and see if i miss any great comments uh helen did mention the party that she had a lot of siblings she did but i think she mentioned that she had a hundred hundreds of thousands of siblings referring to the uh lumen employees uh but i don't know if she meant uh you know like blood siblings that she has a sister or brother um that she grew up with but yeah she did mention that but i think she was just referring to the um the employees aluminum employees pd's flip phone puts it well I, I think the reason he had a flip phone is because um you know you can't track flip phones so i think he had a burner phone where he can communicate uh to mark and uh to the uh <clears throat> the what's it called the, the surgeon so i i think he, he probably has an iphone or had a, didn't he have an iphone he didn't he show um am i tripping didn't he have an iphone didn't he wasn't there a scene he showed mark like a picture of his daughter or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Um, but yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Seeing if there's some great theories that someone has for me. Let me. I guess let me pose. Let me be a better host and pose some questions to you all. So we talked about Irving <clears throat> relationship 
potentially his connection to um, Dalton. Um, we talked about, well, we really didn't talk about Dylan. Um, we find out he has a third child, three kids. Does, is he escaping, you know, his family? He doesn't like his family, he doesn't like his kids. Uh, or, you know, he's supported his family. You know, what is it about Dylan? Why is he into the program? So far, we know that Mark's there for grieving. We assume that uh, Irving's there for PTSD and everything he went through in the war or trying to, you know, find the mystery of what happened to his friend or his lost, you know, lover and Bert. Um, but we don't really know why Dylan's working there. And obviously we know Helena, family ties and all that stuff and you know testing the chip making sure showing the people like we stand behind our product we put you know we're on the front lines with you all we'll test the subject i'll put my daughter you know a chip in her head so yeah we really don't know what's up with dylan you know his uh his the reasons why he is in the program is something that interests me very much so so we talked about that we talked about helena and her ties you know her family ties um Mark. Well, let's, we talked about, I mean, we talked about a lot tonight. Uh, we talked about Milchik, the timeline. I mean, man, is there, I'm sure there's many other things we can discuss, but I'm trying to think of if I can throw some questions at you all to get your thoughts on something. I guess it's very generic, but season two, what does a season two of Severance looks like for you all? What main storyline what is your number one? I guess here's a question for you. What was the number one unanswered question that we didn't get tonight? That was just like, you were like, oh man, I wish we would have got the answer. What was the number one unanswered question that we didn't get tonight? Leave that in the chat, and we'll kind of rotate through those uh, comments there and see what uh, what what got you guys regarding questions that didn't uh, get answered for us. I'm just looking through my notes to see if there was any other theories or predictions or anything we can kind of talk about here before we uh, wrap it up. Um, uh, but yeah, let me know in the chat, guys. Again, um, number one unanswered question. And we'll uh we'll roll through those. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. I think, yeah, we talked about that a little bit earlier. How does this any know how to drive? I think it's just like a you know muscle memory. There's certain, you know, obviously you can't remember what you do at work, can't remember what you do outside of work, but I think there's just certain things like humanly functions how to talk how to eat how to walk how to drive <clears throat> translates to uh you know when your audi is out um on the west coast so i'm an hour behind not early here though oh yeah west coast west coast so what is it uh, eight o'clock where you're at oh again we already talked about that let's see uh, yeah, I, I hope everyone had an iPhone. <laughs> Besides the flip phone, I'm, I'm sure Apple was like, "Yeah, if you're gonna have a phone on the show, it's gonna be an Apple." <laughs> uh, Dylan is a Debbie dad. I mean, you know, that's one side of it, right? Why, you know, three kids. Obviously, you would think he's supporting his family by working for the company, which I think they probably get paid pretty well. I would assume with the procedure and all. But yeah, he could be a bad dad. You know, um. He doesn't, because I talked about it earlier, the, the attributes of the innies can maybe be who they are on the outies. If we are to assume, if we take that into account, Dylan doesn't seem, his personality and at work doesn't seem, I, would, I don't, I don't want to say he's a bad dad, but his personality doesn't seem like a, like he will be, you know, a stern. He might be a cool, super cool dad, but yeah, it's very interesting to see his, I don't see Dylan, the Dylan that we know, I don't see him as a, as a dad per se, right? But, you know, who knows? Um... Let's see here. <clears throat> He's there for the money. Yep. Let's move. Yep. 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 Yeah. Same here. That ending was, was, yeah, that had me, that had me on the edge of my seat. Um, uh, maybe Dylan and Milton are a couple. Okay. Now we're talking. They did have a very interesting relationship this season, especially, you know, getting bit on the arm and all that. Very, very interesting. Uh, can we still join the stream? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if yeah johnny what i'll do again guys if you want and i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna probably put it on subscriber mode right now just to just to be sure that we don't get any um you know crazy people on the stream let me put that on right quick and yeah johnny uh if you guys want to come onto the stream we'll wrap it up here maybe you know 10 10 15 minutes if you anyone and everyone that feels comfortable enough <clears throat> to get on tonight's discussion live and you know i said camera well you don't have to have a camera if you don't want if you you know it's late at night or you know you got your pjs on we can um 
you know, you can just have your voice and make sure, you know, you have a good mic or a headset that is clear through. Uh, but yeah, let me, let me switch this, the this, this chat to, uh, I was gonna say members only, but to, um, subscribers only. So you have to be a subscriber in order to, uh, interact. How do I do that? <laughs> Let's see here. All right, there we go. Subscribers only. Oh, you know what? Better yet, just to make it, you know, more safe for no weirdos. If you follow me, if you have Instagram or Twitter, hit me up right quick and I'll send you the link. I'll DM you the link and you guys can pop in if you want to, Johnny, if you want to, or if anyone wants to, make sure you're following me on Instagram or Twitter. Hit me up on the DM and I'll shoot you a link just just for we can uh, not get any uh, waffle partiers in the, in the, in, on the live stream. Okay, maybe he lost the kid. Yeah, they did say he had three kids. Could have lied. And he, yeah. Wow. I like that theory a lot, actually. What did they do with the goats? Well, what did uh Helly say? Uh her her any said that um that she um uh, what did she say? Oh, they make the, the cheese, uh the goats make the eggs their uh their milk makes the eggs I, I'm, some people just hit me up so they want to hit me uh get on the stream so let me get that link right quick guys and i'll invite you in a little bit we got a couple takers so we're gonna get some some people on the on the stream some people that i uh that i have been seeing for a while in the chat and i would love to see them in person which is cool which is cool cool so here let me um let me go to my twitter and share that link with you all cool we gonna get some uh some movie filers in tonight i totally just made that name up but it sounds kind of corny um cool 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 let me share the link let me send it to myself and then i'm gonna send it to you all and then we're gonna have some fun and i'm sure the people i'm at the invite are super awesome super cool regular human beings uh so yeah if you're if you're if you're gonna do something silly like come on don't do that let's just have fun and have a fun conversation so here let me send a link to myself and i'm gonna send it out to the people that just dm me <clears throat> and we're gonna have a little live discussion with some uh some people of the community all right so let me click the link do, 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 do. all right dead air dead air all right so who hit me up all right there we go okay my homie here all right i'm sending it to you johnny just sent you the link and who else just hit me up uh skyler oh yeah yeah you hit me up on you yeah on follow on twitter right got the last t in your name here i'm gonna hit you up skyler all right sent you the link cool all right so we're gonna have some 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 people coming on again i hope this uh this works out and that <laughs> becomes a a waffle party <laughs> uh let's see i got a couple of people that hit me up all right so we're gonna get some people in the chat so again um this will be fun you know i host a live show on on my uh on a weekly marvel show so this is gonna be fun getting some people that i've never seen interacting with in the in the chats in the comment section but this is gonna be fun right is that you no know, weirdos no weirdos nah this is gonna be fun i can't wait to get these people in all right so let me see here all right, so you guys are unanswered questions. How Mark's wife, Gemma, ended up in the So we talked about that a little bit early. Uh, great question. We we theorized that maybe Lumen, uh, if their influence is as you know, big on uh, the cops, then maybe they have connections to doctors and stuff like that. So maybe they brought her body in to Lumen to experiment on her with the chip. So we, we kind of theorized that. Um, what was the next question? Why was Irvin so fixated on the elevator? Uh, figuring out what was going on a little bit so we talked about that a little bit earlier too that maybe he at one point worked in that department potentially things didn't work out they wiped his memory and transferred him over to mining company so that's what we we're kind of thinking there we'll tell his connections to so she yeah so that was her great grandfather um so oh you know what Hold on, let me get back to this we got our first uh guest coming in skyler Ryder. what's going on Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. I am doing great. I appreciate you coming in. I appreciate you being, you know, uh, you know, someone that supports the channel and, and the content. So thank you for coming on tonight, my friend. 
I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm all nervous now that I, I'm like, why did I volunteer for this? I hate being on <laughs> You're the first uh, Lumen uh, test subject here on uh, oh, on cool. But hey, why don't you let the people at home know who you are? Uh, I know you do some writing and stuff. So why don't you let the people at home know what you do and, and who thank you are? You, right? Thank you. Thank you. I am uh, Skylar and I, uh, Skylar underscore writer on Twitter and all social platforms. I am a writer, burgeoning a screenwriter as well. So hopefully one day y'all get to review one of my shows. Oh, I also yeah. write, yeah, and I also write for a website called blacknerdproblems.com. Uh, hopefully, you know, sorry if I'm doing the same as plug, but I got to rep my people go too. Right ahead. To go right uh, ahead, right. Yeah, I wish I'd have gotten to review Severance, but I discovered it later. Say, and I was same like, song hey, and dance I, really with me, man. I wish I could have done this because this show is incredible. Yeah like the cast is amazing like this this has truly been i think one of the biggest surprises i've seen in a long time like you know that feeling when like you discover a new show and you're like oh my god yeah like it's just been and like every week and when i i i tell my co-workers i work mostly from home but mm -hmm. every now and then we have to go into the office um not black nerd problems like my day job yeah and when I describe the show to people, at first they don't get it, mm -hmm. and I'm like, "Imagine if we just walked out of that door and just forgot everything." And just forgot everything. <laughs> but we didn't Great know what we good. did, and yep. they're like, "Oh, like yeah, yep. like." And imagine if what we did every day was something shady mm. that we still didn't know what we were doing every day. Yeah, like I don't know. It's been it's been great. This this finale just was like. I don't know if you saw in the chat, but like I thought we were gonna watch the show during mm. the discussion. Yeah. yeah. So that so that's my bad. But so that's why I was like, oh yeah, okay. Oh no, you already watched it. Crap. All right, <laughs> let me get back. <laughs> Watch that it. that was the initial plan was to do a watch along, but I totally forgot my my Audi forgot that I had uh, agreed to go to a press screen. <laughs> so we might uh, I don't know we might do a. Um, if if everyone would be up to it, maybe we do a watch along this weekend, maybe on a Sunday or something, and we can all Let watch it do. as a community and just kind of dissect it together. So yeah, that's that might still be in the cards. But uh I love how you said when you describe their work and, and when people are like, Oh wow, that is that is sounds fascinating yeah. because it, it is such a cool concept. And I mean, we it's talk about genius. the idea of work in general, like when we come home, when we come home talking about work, whether it's good things, bad mm -hmm. things, and this show just kind of puts a spin on it. Like, what if you don't come home? Because you don't, you don't, you know, you don't remember what you did at work. So it's such an, a, a, such a fascinating show, man. Did you read the, the what's it called, the Lumen Letter? It's or on the read list. It is definitely on it's, the read list. Oh, uh, and I'm going to definitely check it out. And we're going to get into that conversation because did you, did you get a chance to read it? Yes, I didn't. Okay, read it. I'm gonna pick your brain on that and see okay. what some some good uh, tip is there. But we got another person in the waiting room, and this person, man, I have been uh, such a, a a huge fan of their support on the channel because I always love their comments. He watches as much Apple content as I do, and, and he has some of the best theories out there. So, Johnny, what's hey. going on, man? How are we doing so, today, Johnny? I'm so happy to be here. I am uh, happy that I you do, are here, man. Do, 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 doing well. Um, I loved uh, I loved the show. Yeah, and like you said, I've been an OG here since uh, Devs. Oh, uh, uh, Devs! Oh, psh, yeah, Johnny, yeah. that was that. We talk about yeah. sci-fi, man. That was a that was a banger. Um, I loved the, I loved uh, the finale, yes. but I think one thing that nobody has really said yet that we have to think about is that conversation. We talked about it a little. The conversation between Helly and her father, mm. um, where he said everybody needs to get the chip or something to that effect yeah man he wants the entire population of earth to have that freaking chip mm -hmm. that is some that is some scary scary shit that is man and and johnny when you said by the way guys this is johnny uh, uh if you want to introduce yourself johnny to the to the fine folks at home definitely do so we'll get back into your comments here but johnny why don't you let the people know who you are my friend Sure. Uh, I am uh, I am a uh, screenwriter and uh, filmmaker in uh, San Diego. Um, for my day job, I work in public health, and I've been doing so since the start of the pandemic. So I uh, I was likely the guy that called you up if you got COVID in uh, in uh, the San Diego area and asked you uh, who you've been in contact with, etc. And uh, I now I work with the uh, with the county of San Diego, and um, 
my filmmaking and my screenwriting is more my hobby, but um, I'm, you know, uh, unlike unlike the filmmakers of the, uh, I don't know, if you saw the film X, uh, I'm not looking to make my big break in anything like that. I love X, uh, Johnny. Yeah, I love X, man. It's a great <laughs> film. Ty West is, a, is a great, yeah. That, that film was, for, for anybody that's a filmmaker, Yeah. you just have to see that because the guy, the guys on there just, they think they're going to make it big. This yeah. is our chance, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and we, we, we know what ends we well, you know what it eventually ends, ends up happening to them. Oh yeah, it's a blood fest. It's a blood fest, man. But I, I'm so I'm so honored tonight. I have two incredible screenwriters uh, and future screenwriters, future Apple uh, writers of their own content wow. in the future. I'm so happy to have Skyler and uh, Johnny with us tonight. If 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 only you know peak television. You know we got to get something out there. Listen, man, this is a whole another conversation to be had, but there's so much, so many great opportunities out there now for screenwriters with streaming services like an Apple and obviously Netflix and all this stuff. So, yeah, I'm sure you guys, you're extremely talented. Your 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 moment to shine is just around the corner. I can definitely feel it. So, uh, but uh, Skyler, you had mentioned earlier, there's mm -hmm. this little handy dandy book out there. Uh, yes. Uh, what are we getting into with this book, man? This is my first time hearing about this. Well, not first time, but this is my first time speaking to one someone that's actually read the book. What what, did, what kind of insight did it give you, man? So we have a new character, at least in the part that I read, there might be more to it, but at least when mm -hmm. I read, there's a new character that we've never seen before. And what she's trying to do is what the other Indies are trying to do in the show, which mm -hmm. is reach someone on the outside. And so she's oh. reached out to a journalist at a, at a paper telling her her story. So this is the Audi reaching out to a journalist mm -hmm. telling her what the Innie has told her. And I don't want to oh, give too much away, man. but she's found a way to communicate with her Innie yeah. that the company doesn't know about. Because you can't take out words or letters or any form. Take, oh, exactly. Man. So she found this really crazy way to do it. Mm -hmm. And when her any started talking to her, they start so the any knows some stuff, and then mm -hmm. the woman on the outside is like, "Wait a minute, there's some stuff on the news that correlates to some of the stuff, the times and things that she's talking about downstairs." God. And wow. Lumen, we still don't know what Lumen's up to, right? But right. Lumen is up to some shady stuff, and I don't want to give too much away, but there are some people in the show, or at least people related to them that are in this letter so the mm. scam so it goes it's it's deep 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 it's like it, it oh, changed the where is, is it like is it on apple's uh like you could download yeah. it it's on i think apple what's called apple books or whatever okay that? okay yeah and then, you, uh, you sold me i'm reading it yeah and i'm reading it tonight yeah it's on youtube, yeah, it's yeah. YouTube they did a reading of it too oh nice yeah. is that johnny yeah, somebody put it on YouTube also. It's also on YouTube either. There's one where you can read it by yourself and there's one where they're, they're reading it for you. So there's, um, it's on YouTube. I don't think Apple's about to strike it at any time soon because it's a uh, free publicity for them. And, uh, yeah. They love anything to get these shows churning, you know? That's fascinating. I mean, number one, it sounds, it sounds like we got some new characters to explore in season two and, and some some interesting ways to get some communication out there. But we got another person waiting in the wings uh, who sent in a super chat uh, just to be like, hey, I would love to come on. Easier said with Meg. What's going on, Meg? How are we doing tonight? Hey, hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome. How is your is is your head hurting from all this the craziness we got in tonight's finale how are we doing tonight yes so i was a little late because i did like a two hour live stream podcast earlier okay and okay. i saw y'all were on so i came on late so i don't know what you already talked about hey we can we can start from you know what was some of the big and by the way introduce yourself and let the fine oh, folks okay. at home know who you oh, are and we'll get into that hi everyone my name is megan i'm from texas i'm a a retired Navy vet. I used to be a teacher, but I quit to try this YouTube thing. Um, I'm a huge fan, Elliot. I've been here um, since like hundreds of subscriber days. I just had a oh, different wow. channel. Yeah, so I always be here lurking. So I just wanted to hop on because I was like, Elliot's going live with people. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, this is so it's on, you know. Yeah. So, hi, Johnny. Hi, That's Skyler. Awesome. Um, I guess my favorite part of the episode. Who I, I didn't think that they were going to let her uh, give a speech. I thought they were mm, going to tease Helena. us a mm -hmm. little bit. And I was like, oh, they're going to switch it off and she's not going to get to say anything. And yeah. she got to say something. And I was like, oh, this 
just shakes the table. And then I have a prediction that like next season, since his sister was so frazzled by them taking her newborn baby, mm-hmm. like I think they're gonna have like a team. Like it's gonna be like they're going to be working together because now they're gonna have someone on the outside. Right. Because I feel like his sister's gonna be like that's her newborn baby. Newborn Don't baby, you messing with my brother. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's so I'm much scared. for them to fight for. Yeah. Oh man, that's that sounds awesome. And again, you said you have a, and also I know you mentioned you have a YouTube channel. You want to plug that right quick? Let people oh, know yeah. where they can find so, it. This is my channel, Easier Said with Meg. I like to tackle the things in life that are easy to talk about but mm-hmm. hard to do. Um, taking accountability, making changes for the better. So yeah. Love it. I love it. That is awesome. And I appreciate you being one of the, the day one OGs. That means a lot to me. And I'm so yes, glad you were able to get yes. you, Johnny, and Skylar on tonight. So yeah, man. I mean, we we talked a lot about a lot of stuff, Meg. So I guess this roundtable style, Skylar, what was one of your like favorite WTF jaw dropping moments in tonight's finale? Ooh, um, there are so many. I would have to say probably. I'm gonna go with Heli give, being able to say what she was gonna say at the end. Yeah. Cause I thought the same thing. I thought, oh, this is to believe it's gonna happen just before she's not gonna, she's gonna either turn back or Cobell was gonna have convinced her. And earlier I had tweeted, cause I was, as I was watching it, I had tweeted, can't none of these people go on a top secret mission with me except Dylan. <laughs> Everybody's sitting there walking around like they got all the time in the world. He's sitting there going through this reading. Irving's just looking at the paintings, and I'm just like, "What are y'all doing? You need yeah. to move." And then hell, but and, and then when Helly did that, I was like, "Okay, no, Dylan and Helly, that's my team. The CIA calls. I gotta go save somebody. You gotta do a, a SEAL Team Six. Those are the two I want on my team." So when Helly did that, and they bum rushed her off the stage, there's no yeah. way they can play it off. That I screamed. I literally screamed. Yeah. I mean, and that's to your point, to that last point in regards to that's the, the CEO's daughter there, too, that you guys are attacking, yeah. even though it's the Audi. But still, you know, there's, there might be some uh, uh, ramifications uh, with that. So uh, some, some great stuff you said there. And uh, Johnny, same question for you, man. What was that moment in tonight's episode where you just like, the show is awesome. The show is amazing. It's just, it's just working on all cylinders. What was that moment for you tonight, man? Even though I expected it, I think just that moment that that um, Helly was introduced to the senator's wife as um, oh, Hel- when she said this Helena Aiken, I was like, yes. I, I was happy that I knew it, but I, it just felt like a vindication. Like, okay, oh no, oh, now, oh now, you know, all you can think of now, now the shit's not now it's going to go down. Yeah, it's going down now, and I, and I was just, and I was feeling the same way as Skylar. I was. Kind of feeling okay. When are they like what? Like, are they, are they going to run out of time? You know, how long can how long can um, can Dylan hold that together without Milchik getting down there or figuring mm-hmm. out that? I was afraid that Milchik was going to show up at that um, Kier's house and find that mm-hmm. Dylan wasn't there anymore, and then he was going to you know do it on his own. And I was like, come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. But then when they laughed at her um, when she said, you know. When she was saying what was happening, when yeah, they they're doing bad things and all that. I'm, yeah, I'm really concerned because now she's now her um, Audi is back, and they're going to just play that off. Right. Um, one thing I I hope that they don't do for season two is I don't want like a new cast of characters and like a, a like a like a Westworld oh, season another two. set of department and we barely tra- yeah I I said that earlier Johnny yeah I hope they don't do that to I mean, us. I, um, I think either. there's gonna be I think there's gonna be, there would be like a huge backlash from the from the fans yeah. of the show because no, I agree we we become invested in all in these four people these right. these four, these innings. I totally agree. I hope that, and I have a feeling that they won't do that. Uh, of course, like, you know, Skylar mentioned there's some new characters they introduced in this book. You know, of course, I would love a, a new character every now and then. But yes, like you said, Johnny, we've been following these characters for the last nine weeks. I would hate to just forget the stories and all the uh, mystery box from those characters. So, which, speaking of, starting with you, uh, uh, Meg, character. Who is that character for you uh, that you loved? And if there's a character on the show that maybe you you relate to who's that character that you might relate to in the show start with you meg um character i can relate to and sorry i'm not so good with names um the woman that mark dated for a little bit uh, the doula right um the doula. oh man what was that young lady's name 
Um, it's slipping me, because but I know we, we know we're referring to though, yeah. You know, yeah. the disposing of the clothes, and every time, well, the first time I saw her, I thought she was someone I went to high school with that oh, asked, really? and I was like, she looks familiar, yeah. but um, I know what it's like to um, be there while someone's having like a breakdown, and you're just mm. like, or you're that person having a breakdown. So I, yeah. I kind of felt for her because I felt like she really had good intentions when it came to him. Like, she gave him a lot of grace. I felt like she gave him more grace than we would someone that we're just casually yeah. dating because I feel like he didn't give her much in return. And mm -hmm. he was, you know, when he ripped um, the picture of his wife, mm -hmm. I was like, <laughs> I was like it's a little, yeah, you're a little out of control there, buddy. Yes. Yeah. I was yeah. like, if you could tell, she was like, this guy is off his rocker. So, and of course it's Dylan that. for me, you know, when Dylan has that whole door energy, like, you know, that cliffhanger that we had, I was on top of the couch. I was like, hold the door, hold the door. You know, <laughs> Dylan is just giving me everything I need right now. So Dylan's the man. A Hopefully lot of people mentioned his MVP. You know, well. Yeah, I wonder if we'll get more of her next season, uh, Alexa, as people brought up. That I would love to kind of see more about her character. But same question for you, Johnny, regarding that one character that maybe you relate to a little bit more than others. Uh, and maybe that doesn't translate to your favorite character. So who's your, your favorite character as well? My my favorite character, I think, is um, is uh, Mark, hmm. um, and the one um, just because I so much so much of his pain seems you know so grounded and real. Um, the one that um, the one that uh, appealed to me is um, is uh, uh, Regevi. Mm, uh, the surgeon, I want, yeah. I yeah. want to know what I want to know what her story is. I want to Same, know her. Yeah. I want to know her backstory. I want to know how um, she um, ended up um, ended up leaving uh, Lumen and what you know what got her on this um, what got her on this uh, on this um, path to become one of the um, anti severance uh, people. Yeah, that's a great. Yeah, I'm very excited to learn more about that. Is there more other doctors that what was that? Like you mentioned, Johnny, what was that tipping point? What was that moment? They said, this is not right. What we're doing. We need to stop these evil deeds. Uh, or again, talked about it earlier. Are they doing evil deeds? Are they a place for veterans serving? suffering through PTSD or trauma to be able to suppress their pain for eight hours, 40 hours a week? Are they helping people suffering through grief as Mark lost his wife? So are they as bad as we make them out to be? Uh, but same did, question. Did you oh, guys go ahead. Um, discuss the, the severed pregnancy already? We we touched on it. And we'll, that'll be the next topic. I'm going to get Skylar's uh, favorite character and we'll jump right into that, Meg. So yeah, and this, this is a very fascinating question, but same one for you, Skylar. Favorite character who you relate to the most? Uh, yeah, I'm also excited about that pregnancy thing because I was wondering that too. Yeah. Um, favorite character, favorite color, favorite character is probably Dylan. Dylan cracks me up. His, his the way that man's ego is like on a scale of one to ten, it's like a fifteen. <laughs> so that tells me that his Audi must be like super uh, uh, conservative or whatever is what I'm, mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like the innies are really like their ids, their inner desires, because they're the yeah. complete opposite of who they're on the outside. Right. But my favorite character. That I also relate to the or third Dylan, but the one I relate to probably the most is going to be Heli, um, mm. because so I am a I like to consider myself a creative person, filmmaker, writer, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But my the majority of my background, as far as work goes, is in corporate America. You know, mm -hmm. um, big comp Fortune five hundred companies. I'm at a startup now, mm -hmm. but uh, which is a different environment. But that episode, one of the things that I feel like they do. Um, is it sort of like an analogy for like how sometimes we will trap ourselves in environments that we don't want to be in? So like when mm -hmm. Heli kept trying to break out and then remember she kept going back and then the door, she'd be back inside, then she'd be back in the hallway, then she'd be back inside. Yeah. And then the next episode, we see that her Audi is like, oh, did I try to break out again? Okay, let me go back in. And so she keeps like fighting it. Yeah. And so even though there's a part of her that hates being in this environment, that does not want to do this, um, just wants to leave, there's also the, power, the part of you that's the quote unquote, the real you, the responsible you that keeps, that kept her going back. And I think that's a, that was analogous to like, sometimes in my situation, and I know a lot of people were like, you may be stuck in a job or a relationship or 
you know, friendship, whatever it is, and part of you wants to leave, but your sense of like obligation, your sense of doing the right thing, or just, you know, this is decent money. Like I'm a fool to not want to work in a job like this. Right. I'm a fool to not want to do this. So you keep going back, even though you want to leave. And I could be reading too much into it, but I was like, this is such an analogy especially for this to be a show about a workplace mm -hmm. of like mm -hmm. you want to go just go you're the one holding mm -hmm. yourself back no i think i don't I think that's a, a stretch at all scott i think the show definitely touches on the that aspect of the the, the work life and the you know the, the you know, waking up every morning putting the shoes on tie on going into work and coming back home and you know all that stuff so yeah i think you're definitely onto something there man but going back to being on to something meg brought up the point about the pregnancy and forgetting that she gave birth and all that so i mean you brought it up meg let's go ahead and get your thoughts on it your thoughts theories predictions on this yeah. whole idea so I noticed they kind of slid it in there. And what I took away from it was that they were, I'm not sure. It seemed like they were taking time off in those cabins, um, severed from their pregnancy. I'm not sure how it worked out. Mm. I had a lot of questions about it. Yeah, I, I, I'm right there with you, Johnny. What's, what's your thoughts on this? Is it a situation where, um, you know, again, everyone in the world wants to, they want this to be implemented. It is a matter of suppressing pain during pregnancy, yeah. during surgery, during, yeah. Yeah, I, my, my theory is, is that uh, when she got pregnant, uh, the chip was activated. Mm -hmm. And while she was pregnant in the cabin, the chip was still activated. And then after she gave birth, ship was switched back over to her because she didn't have to go through the whole pregnancy and childbirth mm. you think she was switched on the whole nine months, nine months. that makes sense yeah. oh wow. so it goes back and forth right yeah. so, then, so, then, so then the next thing the next time the enemy is um is back again she's pregnant again Mm. Maybe, maybe she waits until she's a certain amount of months and it becomes mm. it becomes yeah. uncomfortable yeah. or something yeah. Or, 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 or she starts to get maybe maybe she's just so vain that as soon as she gets a baby bump she switches Cut it to the switch um, <laughs> yep. self surrogacy uh, what's that are you a self surrogate that's what it seems yeah, like yeah yeah <laughs> that, like a russian dog wow. that, would, that would be a good way to, to market it self surrogate you know you, you <laughs> right pitch it to the to the, to the mothers out there it's your own it's your own child and you don't have to uh you go through the nine months of pregnancy yeah fast track the nine well, months then when she's crazy. Back, she has a newborn baby but she skipped all of the everything yeah good and that's, bad. that's mm. my that's my theory because that's why she didn't yeah. know her that's why she didn't know um Devin at the park because she had, yeah. she had been switched after she gave birth and she didn't remember anything about what she was gonna and it didn't matter what the any said she was gonna name the kid because the audi's like i don't care what the any said and she doesn't even know what she was gonna name the kid so she that's why she yeah. kind of looked at Devin like uh his name is bradley or whatever it was so. yeah that's a oof, you, you blew my mind there johnny you blew my mind man and i think skylar you're right there with yeah. the, uh your thoughts on that you're, are you on the same wavelength uh, wavelength as johnny there yeah i was thinking initially it was that she just was severed for the delivery itself yeah she didn't, but i think what johnny said makes a lot more sense and they might even, process, yeah. yeah and the fact that they kept talking about the company is so empathetic and kindness mm -hmm. now johnny you got me thinking are they going to try to market severance as a way for you to bypass pain like you were saying elliot bypass pain but like all together mm -hmm. so are you grieving you can skip that yeah. Uh, if you just get through a hard surgery that you have to recover from, you can skip that too. Mm -hmm. um, plastic and surgery? That, plastic, yeah, plastic yeah. surgery, yeah. And then it's going to become a thing of like, well, if you take out all the hard or bad or difficult parts of life and yeah. you only get the good parts, mm -hmm. one, are you really living? Are you becoming a worse person because those hard times make us better people? Mm -hmm. um and then it and then low-key um someone else had said it in the chat i wish I, I think her name was christy she said um what if they're using this as like like a way to keep slaves a new form of slavery yeah she said that earlier yeah yes yeah, so it's like so yeah. while you think it's oh i'm gonna only live the good life mm -hmm. but you don't really know that when you're asleep no baby you're suffering you're through, rocks and, yeah. and yeah doing all that stuff so 
Listen, man, this is why we love this show, these conversations being had. I think that's such a great um, thought process there, and just even more to the, this whole God complex that Cure has, and just the whole idea of the Bible, and just being so faithful to this type of mindset. There's a lot of biblical undertones and following blindly, and uh, you know, taking the word of the corporate, um, you know, entities out there. So yeah, there's definitely, and that's and something to get excited for for season two. And I'm sorry to jump in like that, no, but right at, like I won't say I can't say the company, even though I don't work there anymore. But I've worked at organizations where people have like this real devotion, mm-hmm. and there's the comp- one company in particular. They have a phrase. If anyone works there, they might know. But and I won't say the color, but the colors reflected to their lo- our lo- their logo, mm-hmm. and they'll be like, "Oh, I bleed X." And X is the color that one of the things that we use. <laughs> and the whole time people would say that, and I would look, I'd be like, you believe what? Drinking the Kool-Aid. What, like, huh? what are you? Yeah, and, but it's that corporate Kool-Aid, and they dr- people drink it, and that happens in companies. It's, it's mm. wild. This show is why, I mean, I'm just even thinking more about just the grand global nature of, you know, when she mentions earlier in this episode about the hundreds and thousands of people um, that, you know, that she looked at brothers and sisters again. It seems like, again, this one unified movement, group mindset, uh, heaven on earth, if you want to call it that, in in, uh, Egan's eyes. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot to explore there. and That just is so fascinating to me. So Uh, here's my commentary on this show. Let's hear it. A mirror, put a mirror in front of us in society. It's a mirror to us. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were saying we're diverse. <laughs> <laughs> no, real said, Meg. I, I definitely agree with you. There's a lot of uh, things you can pull away from this show, and and related. You know, you first watch the first few episodes, you laugh. Oh, this this idea is so crazy. But then the more and more you think about it, it ties into reality and our day to day lives. There's a lot of parallels to what we go through as society, and and again, leading into your companies, believing everything, taking everything they say for uh, you know as as the Bible. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, reflection that the show provides for sure, for sure. So we talked the baby, we talked favorite characters. Is there a unanswered question that you all had that you were really hoping to dive deeper into in this episode, whether that's a la the testing floor, what happened to Gemma's body, uh, Irving and the list of severance employees, the, the article he had about Dalton. Was there anything in particular about this finale or maybe the previous eight episodes that you wanted to dive deeper into that we didn't get? Starting with you, Johnny, was there just like a burning question that you were hoping to get tonight that we didn't get, unfortunately? I didn't think that we were going to get it tonight, but I wanted to get more about Cobell and how she started at the company, or I mm. want more about that. We'll probably, yeah. probably get that in season two. Yeah. And how how is it that Mark is telling everybody, oh, nobody else lives in the area, but he lives next door to this woman who supposedly owns a shop in uh, in the town in the, in the company town. Mm-hmm. Uh, how is it that she lives there? He lives in company housing. Has she told him? And she told him that her husband used to work at Lumen, and he was a, and he he, he uh, retired from Lumen, and that's how she gets to live there. Or how is it that she lives in Lumen housing without being, yeah, without, without being, you know, without working there? And how did she get into the company? And you know, with what you know, was she was she? I I, I go for it. Was she previously in any in the Audi? Did they? You know, yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah, Harmony is definitely a fascinating character. Uh, the performance by Patricia is, is amazing. Uh, but yes, yeah, she is definitely a character I would love to explore more of in a season two. Uh, Meg, uh, what about you in regards to that one question that you were hoping to maybe dive a little bit deeper into that we didn't get in, in the finale tonight? Um, so I kind of want to see more now of the bigger picture kind of go like in that mm. Westworld place and see the mm-hmm. political, like the pro any Audi versus the anti any Audi and what they're yeah. doing with all yeah. that. I know we've touched on it a little bit, but I want to see what's going on out there in the streets and how many, I keep thinking like how many buildings of Lumen is it? Is it just that one building or yeah. is this happening to tens of thousands of people, hundreds of people? How many people are actively severed in, in the moment? I mean, that, that, 
that question you posed there, Meg, that's that's 10 seasons right there. <laughs> Just different ways of exploring different parts of the, you know, the corporation and how far it spans. And then again, the, the conversations being had of the people that are, you know, my body, my choice type of conversation and, and how that affects society and affects schools. And if you if you have a husband and a wife, one believes in servants and the other one doesn't, does that, you know, break a home up? It's so, so many fascinating aspects. Uh, Skyler, same for you, man. Was there a particular plot or storyline or a character um, beat that we that we got that we didn't really get a full fulfillment of or, you know, any unanswered questions that came up for you? Um, I think a big, the biggest one for me is going to be what exactly is Lumen doing? And I think a, a bunch of things go into that. So one, those numbers that they keep moving. Scary numbers, yeah. Those scary numbers. I'm like, how does these numbers make you feel? And after you read the book, uh, I don't know if you want, I can show a picture of it on here. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Yeah, go right ahead. Right. Okay. Yeah, go right ahead. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's a green book, loop, Severance. Lumen, mm -hmm. Apple Books, uh, but there's also the audio thing on YouTube. It goes into some of Meg's questions about how many buildings are there, um, is this happening other places, um, stuff like that. You get a taste. You know, you know, Lumen's up to something that's no good. We just don't know what it find out what it is. But I really want to know that, especially because mm -hmm. considering that that doctor was willing to take a life over it, she's willing to beat a man to death. <sighs> So that's got to be something literally. more than just workers' comp claims. So, <laughs> HR ignoring the, the email, yeah. uh, <laughs> taking matters into her own hand. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's what they do is definitely a big mystery because again what they do might not be the same thing what they do on another level on another floor on another company they might do mm -hmm. more more devious things so yeah there's that's definitely the big question mark at hand is what exactly are they doing at lumen is the good question so a question i have and this is we talked about it earlier but the relationship between bert and irving one of the best moments those two actors phenomenal living legends um what do we uh just touching on Irvin a little bit and touching maybe on the on the testing floor. Are we under the assumption that Irvin used to work on that floor, has uh, has seen the floor, has been on the floor? Starting with you, Meg, with and in time that maybe in more to Gemma too. What's going on with this testing floor and the painting that we know Irvin just constantly keeps you know doing every single night? It's funny you ask me that because that's the only thing that I'm lost on is did he work there? I'm just not understanding um, the volume. Was he trying to leave a message to himself in case his any was ever switched on? I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. And I my mind is still muddled. I don't know if you guys have seen from so that's another show that people have been hitting me up for for the longest uh yeah i hear that show is um, insane you are going to like from I know. okay i'm gonna yeah. have to find the time to put some uh some from moments in but yeah no definitely the, the whole parallels. a lot of parallels okay i love a good mystery box i hear it's like lost uh yeah. with you know so, okay so which is a good show so skylar same for you man this testing floor irving's paintings Gemma, what's your main theory and uh, prediction what's going on there my theory is it's going to be kind of like Westworld and how the robots or androids were like reincarnated, reincarnated into something else. I'm wondering if the Irving that we know on MDR is maybe the third or fourth iteration of Irving, his severed self. And maybe he's remembering the floor, like maybe oh, okay. first time he was bad. So they sent him down to that floor and it was a traumatic experience for him. And so his both his Audi and now his Innie are remembering that, especially considering that he might have PTSD. So he holds on to trauma um, like anyone would in those situations. So maybe that's that's what I'm thinking. Very interesting. Johnny, man, same question for you. And is there uh, some some similarities to your thoughts on what, uh, what Scott was said there? Very similar thoughts. I think that he, uh, that he has gone through a repeated trauma. He's been on that floor maybe more than once. Um, I want to go back and look at the episode and see how long he said that he's been working there. And there seems to be like a discrepancy. Um, but, um, and to me, somebody, like I said in the chat earlier, somebody on Reddit is going to take all those lists and go through them. And, uh, we're going to know everybody on the, on those lists of 
pretty, pretty soon, I think. Oh, yeah. um, so, uh, and I said it might be me, but probably not. Um, and uh, we'll be able to figure out whether or not he's been there on a repeat. Um, I think they said he worked there seven years. I can't remember now. Seven but, nine, um, yeah, it was something like yeah, that. Yeah. 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 So, um, and uh, you know, has maybe it's longer than that. And that yeah. that picture, that picture said, you know, speculated that picture is his dad. I thought, well, maybe that picture's him mm. when he was younger. Good and point. And maybe he's maybe he's been in Lumen ever since he got out of the uh, service. Mm. Maybe maybe he's been there for thirty years. Maybe, man, that's some good stuff there. And it, it even goes back to, um, if I have the picture here, to last week's revelation of all the different protocols they have in place with, uh, you know, the branch transfer, the clean slate, uh, elephant. So maybe, like you, to you guys' point, they've wiped his mind so many different times. He's almost like, from our Marvel fans, he's uh, Bucky the Winter Soldier. They keep resetting his mind over and over again. And the effects of that can be, you know, traumatic and be your subconscious you're remembering all like you guys mentioned so yeah there's a lot that, to explore there and i was thinking that like his painting like that the ferocious way that he paints yeah with the music and everything that's the only way that he can cure his pain hmm. with that ferocity yeah and that's, that's kind of scary you know very much so very much so and who knows maybe bert Another connection, Bert was someone that helped him out at, at a, a previous version of himself, or again, that Dalton individual that he seemed to have the article about. Yeah, there's, ooh, just giving me chills. So, just thinking so about what it. would be um, a happy ending for you guys? I keep thinking about that. What mm. would be the happy ending? Would it be that they're in and they're outy, they're two coexist, or... and they coexist together? Yeah. And, or is it that the any is out and free and the OG dies, or <laughs> I, I, I just don't know what what the happy ending would be. And I keep thinking like, so what's remove their chips and they're just, I'm not sure. Johnny, I'm gonna have you take that. And then Skylar, I wanna check on my dog for a quick second. So I'm gonna have you guys answer that and I'll be back to answer that question. Look, this is a great question, Meg, but I'm gonna be right back. I don't know if there's gonna be a happy ending. I'd like to think that there's gonna be a happy ending, but um, maybe there won't be a happy ending. Maybe everybody's going to get a chip eventually. Maybe, you know, we're going to be, um, we're going to, uh, we're going to close out the series with a, a busy New York City street and everybody gets switched from their Audi to their Mini. And then the uh, start of the Matrix play. Right. You know? So, um, <laughs> but uh, I'd, like, I'd love to think that the Innies and the Audis can live together, but obviously with Helena and Helena slash Ellie, that's never going to happen. Right. With Mark, it's more possible, and with maybe with Dylan, it's more possible. But Dylan doesn't know why his um, um, why his um, uh, Audi sent him there. Um, my speculation is that he he um, he owes a lot of money to, for child support. Not, now that I hear, hear that he has three kids, and uh, they pay him a lot of money, and it's exactly what Skyler was talking about. You stay in a job that you end up making so much money, and you end up staying at a job, and you know that the job is terrible but you want to leave but now he doesn't even know that the job is terrible he just knows that he's getting the money and they're not you know they're not uh, attaching his bank account or anything he's paying for the three kids now yeah i i feel like my what i hope to happen is that they get to they get rid of the chips and they're any and they're out they get to recombine into one person because I really, I really, and like, I was a psych major for like way too long in college before I switched. But like, I really do feel like their innies are their inner desires. They're the ids because they're completely opposite each one and from what we've seen of each of their Audis, right? So I feel like Kelly and her Audi are one in the same. You do see? Th okay, yes. so this is what, but see, but see, when you think about it, you're. I feel like your id and your conscious, they're all parts of you. It's right. just about what you get more control to. So remember when Helly, well, and I'm just now real thinking about this. Remember when Helly was all like uh, in her video, my dad said we had a families and, you know, she, there's love with her father. There's a mm -hmm. desire to want to please her father. So even when her innie tried to hang herself, her Audi still went back to the office. 
And I, I wonder if that's because there's a desire for her to want to be the perfect daughter, but in her heli, in her id, does not want to do this. Nope, because we see her fighting it all the time. So her id, I feel like she's not listening to the part of her that is her desire, her desired part. And so like with Dylan, I think it might be the same thing. He's such an egomaniac. I'm a ladies man, I'm all these things. What if he's really not on the outside though? He's just a maybe a nerdy dad with th three kids, who, who knows? And then with Mark, his outside self is just a sad sack that can't function. Um, but inside the office, he's confident, he's a leader, he's respected. So all these things that they all wish they could be, um, I feel like that's who like there there is. So with, with, with Heli in particular, now that I'm actively thinking about it, like, yeah, she really does want to burn it all down. But her consciousness part wants to be the good daughter, the good Egan, um, wants the adoration and praise, wants all the images around her. And so she keeps ignoring it. Because honestly, if it was me and my inner self tried to hang me, I would be afraid to go to the office. Next day. I'd be afraid to go to sleep in my own home because I didn't know what I would do to myself. Hmm. But she kept going. So, well, so, I'm, I'm sorry, so I want her, I want them all to coalesce around themselves. Yeah. And then the message to be now I'm a whole person and I honor myself. I do what makes me happy yeah. and I live life to the fullest, knowing who and what I am. I'm nodding my head because I'm pretty sure you guys said some great things. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna watch the replay and hear all the great comments. I'm pretty sure you guys nailed it on the head. Just to catch the, the back end of what uh, Scott just said, I think that it, the, the ultimate goal to answer Meg's question is confronting your inner demons, you know, coming to coexist with both, you know, your good, bad, ugly, happy, sad, grieving, all that stuff that we go through as a human, you know, as a regular human being in life, coming to grips with who you are as a person, uh, rather that's the good things or the bad. So I think that's a, a great way to end. And I don't know if this show is going to get dark and sinister and we're going to get people killed off or whatnot. I don't know if it's going to get to those levels, but I do hope that all of our characters do get the moment of, um, satisfaction of finding out who they are and, and, and what drives them to be who they are as people so i think that that would be a great kind of happy ending and, and i guess i don't even know i guess the question to be asked here because we talked about jokingly 10 seasons but honestly how how long can this show run based on all the different things we brought to the table and the characters we can dive into and new characters and other parts of the world johnny man are we looking at the next big five six seven episode season type of show do we I don't know. Uh, I don't know that they can sustain it for that long. I would say yeah. probably three or four seasons. Yeah. You know, I, I can't. I can't imagine that like they're going to come up with any more. And then if they do try, try to go further than that, then it's going to be uh, in lost territory. Mm -hmm. You know, filler and episodes. I, I hate to bring that up because everybody always talks about Lost and Game of Thrones, and that's why that everybody is. So, yeah. Everybody is so impatient. They're either impatient or they have too much anticipation. We, we suffer from a lot of anticipation nowadays because we anticipate that these things are going to happen in these shows that we love. And sometimes we get, um, uh, we get disappointed because our anticipation is not met. Um, I just want to go back to what Skylar said before about, um, about Dylan. And I think he hit it on the head with, um, especially with Dylan, um, the way that he acts in, as is any, and is any reflects how he believes that his Audi should be or is uh, you know, when he talks about uh, you know he's, he's having sex with elves and he's um, and he's doing um, he's doing muscle shows and stuff like that and then he's kind of like the life of the party and the joker um, in the office so he is probably just a quiet, quiet nerdy type at, at home yeah you know when he's an Audi but I, I, I thought you nailed that pretty well yeah, I, I definitely uh, agree to those sentiments as well. And uh, yeah, Dylan, he's, he's just great. He's just a great individual. Uh, but yeah, Meg, same for you. Is it uh, same with Johnny? Do you feel like, you know, three, four max seasons? Uh, or do you want just a show to keep going as long I, as... I say uh, three. Hell, <laughs> three, okay. It's pushing it. Yeah. I like the short and sweet. Like, I was one of those people that thought Lovecraft Country just needed to stay at one season. <gasps> I, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, and, and, and you know the same with um the one with uh the queen Regina. 
Oh, Watchmen. I could have used another I season agreed with Watchmen, Watchmen as yeah. well. You know, let yeah. us have a little taste of Sliver mm-hmm. and not, you know, give us just enough to keep us wanting more and just let oh, it move. I say three is really pushing three. it. I would just be happy with a second season mm-hmm. that wrapped everything up and just left us to wonder. Mm. So we got so th- three. I think Johnny was three. You you're saying three as well, Meg. Tops, Sky the Band, Sky's the Limit. Twenty yeah. seasons, right? Twenty yeah, seasons 20, in, in a movie. Yeah, twenty seasons in a movie. Twenty two yeah. episodes a season. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I I, I think Sorry. two. <laughs> right, thank you. There you go. I think uh, I think two seasons. Spin off. Probably be good. <laughs> well, oh yeah, I think two seasons would probably be good. Maybe three max. Um. I don't know if we started doing this because of how they do shows overseas, but I kind of like that we have more of these limited series, mm, two or three seasons, series, yeah, you know, yeah. even if it's just one season, like Watchmen, I thought was perfect. As much as I love that show, right. there was no need. You can't, you can't go anywhere. You could never. You could ever. never. Like, as far as I'm concerned, the story's over. Like, it's they can done. never do, it's, it's done. done. It's a wrap. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I think that's the way. Y- y'all didn't want to see Sister Knight as, uh, as, as, uh, okay. okay. As much as we love Sister Knight, we love her. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but I think like every good story has a beginning, middle, and an end. And I think right. a lot of times yeah. Hollywood they love that money, so they keep going when they really should have like just yeah. stop. Yeah, they milk it. And yeah. I think with this, uh, we have the base conspiracy as like what they're doing with the individuals. I think the next yeah. step is probably going to be the wider world. What's going on outside of yeah. is is the city named here? I yes. saw on the map. Is named here too. Yes, and 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 it's a fake state called PE. Here, PE. Mm. Oh, see, okay, didn't catch that. But so, um, yeah, I think two to three seasons max. Yeah, Um, I love the fact that uh, it's only a handful of episodes. Just give, just give me the good stuff. I don't need filler. Like I used to, uh, as a kid, and even as an adult, I love Sailor Moon. Love Sailor Moon. Mm. One of my favorite animes ever. There's literally like 40 episodes a season. Mm. And I was like, why? We don't need that for a show like that. I think I'm in the same boat with you all. I, I'm a type of uh, uh, consumer where the plan, when you have a plan at hand, if it is, you know, two seasons, three seasons, don't stretch it out. You know, I, I'm a fan of that. You know, I'll, uh, you know, we're getting with Ozark in a couple of weeks, wrapping up that story with the Berg family. Uh, I'm a big fan. I don't know if you all have ever watched Dark on Netflix, had a plan stuck to the plan three seasons and they stuck the landing perfectly so i i I feel like the attention to detail in the show it seems like they have a plan so i think yeah three seasons um you know max would be my uh happiness with this show uh and before it gets all crazy and wacky and repetitive right so yeah i think three seasons would be a a good uh, uh ending point for that show so with speaking of ending point you know, we're wrapping, we're getting close to two and a half hours. It's almost one on my end. Uh, and I can't thank you all enough for, of course, these wonderful Skylar, Johnny, and uh, Meg joining me on the live stream. But everyone watching live and on the replay, replay game, you know, what's up to y'all out there? But any final thoughts? Uh, you know, maybe we wrap it up with favorite episode. And when do you hope and when do you think we'll get a season two? Starting with you, Meg. Any final thoughts? And then again, uh, those final two questions there that I have posed. Final thoughts is I just need one more good old fashioned Defiant Jazz party and I'll be happy. Just give me one more <laughs> Defiant Jazz music dance experience. I need, yeah, more of those, maybe uh, one or two uh, waffle parties, uh, Defiant Jazz parties. I mean, it's going to, season two is just going to be a party fest. That's that's what we're going to get. Uh, Johnny, same with you, man, in regards to uh, the same question I, I asked there. And, and also, I guess, Meg, when do you think we're going to get season two? Would you want it, uh, you think we're getting it early next year, late next year? When did we get it this year? February. These weeks flew by. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure we have all this stuff going on but yeah apple just so people know while we're talking about this show apple series guys is where it's at apple yes. series is where it's at um yes. and they I'm, definitely know they sci-fi yes mm-hmm. foundation don't, don't get me started on apple tv but y'all need to just check out everything on apple tv i agree i agree i'm not sponsored but check me out apple <laughs> 
<laughs> Johnny, man, same with you regarding um, any final thoughts of the show. And again, uh, as far as when do you suspect that we'll get that season two uh, coming to Apple TV Plus? Um, final thoughts is um, the acting was amazing. The cinematography was amazing. The production, um, stellar. you know, was stellar. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, Tim Cook, listen to us. Uh, two to four seasons. You have enough money in your treasury at Apple. <laughs> you only need two to four seasons. Um, so, uh, you know, let's not uh, overdo it. Um, everybody should subscribe to Apple TV Plus and not, not, not only because I'm an Apple shareholder. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I totally agree with you. Apple is, is uh, they're, they're to me the HBO of streaming right now. They got the, the quality shows right now to me. They, they are just uh, great with the content on even some things that I don't even really, uh, you know, watch. I can just appreciate the production and the, the risk that they allow their creators to do. So, Skyler, man, same with you regarding any final thoughts, uh, uh, fi favorite episode. Uh, and of course, you know, what do you, uh, what do you suspect that we'll get that season two? um well i think we'll get to season two probably around the same time we got it this time so like what's that february i really i really would love it if they did it this year i don't want to wait a whole year for it um but yeah i just i, just, I would love for it to come back like next week um but in terms of like <laughs> a, a favorite episode oof, i really like them all one of my i think my my favorite scene because it's hard for me to say a favorite episode as a whole but I loved the scenes with Natalie. And I, I wonder how they came up with that idea of the board talking to her and then her saying, cause there was like a, there was such a coldness, but also a creepiness in every scene she had where she's like, the board has concluded the call. Mm -hmm. Like I was starting to think maybe she was severed, like um, mm -hmm. the doctor, the mm -hmm. wellness person, a Gemma. So any scene that she had, um i just i just loved it and I, I i even went back a few times watching her face drop when heli started speaking at the end in the oh, finale the beef between her and heli yeah more, that. Uh, more explanation of why they hate each other so much yeah, you, mean her, you mean her and harmony or him harmony, and her and say, harmony. Oh, yeah, yeah harmony, harmony yeah harmony, yeah because yeah. she she yeah there was something going on there but just she enjoyed telling harmony the board has concluded the call <laughs> like so I, any scene yeah. she had i really loved. but um what was your other question I think you, yeah, the season two, you say you, you would hope to get it by this year, yeah, but I think yeah, I would hope. we'll give them time to, to, to iron out all the kinks oh, and, and I, the good show. And I did want to say one last thing. I don't know if anybody yeah. on here works at Apple. I feel like people that work in marketing at Apple should be on shows like this listening. So if you are, do something with the marketing. Yes, like yes, Elliot yes, said, yes, you guys are like the HBO of streaming and <sighs> nobody knows. I only have Apple TV because it came free with my phone. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I had it for Jason Momoa. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, that's one of my favorite shows too. I love C. So do the marketing because we definitely have the content. I uh, well said. I mean, hopefully, with winning Emmys for um, shows like The Morning Show, Ted Lasso, winning the first streaming movie to win a, a Oscar in Coda, hopefully, um, that was their movie. You know, like, I didn't take, know movie. Mm -hmm. it was an Apple. I'm excited yeah, for so. um, is it Pan Panchico? Panchico? Yes, everyone it. has been talking about how amazing that show is. I'm because it was giving me. I used to love uh, Memoirs of a Geisha. I know it's a different country, mm. but yeah. it was just giving mm. me that because I watched Memoirs of a Geisha maybe like forty times in my life. I know it line by line, yeah. <laughs> and so when I saw <laughs> like awesome. that beautiful, like I was like the parallels, parallels. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard it's great. I mean, again, not all their shows. Uh, I haven't. I've, I've seen the majority of the shows, but. Regard, I always appreciate the just the production Jacob and was uh, good too. the Finning Jacob Meg was one of my favorites. I was on the edge of my seat every week. I uh, that one, Chris. Uh, Chris, uh, oh, you haven't seen that one, Skyler? Mm -hmm. Listen, my friend, Finning Jacob, cue it, it up. Cue it up, man. It is a fantastic <laughs> drama. Fantastic. I haven't seen, I haven't seen that one either. Oh, Johnny, you got to uh, yeah. check it out, man. Chris Evans, Cap is doing his thing. Michelle, Ma uh, oh, Michelle okay. Dockery, I think her name was, uh, and Jacob oh, from uh, it. 
It's a great show. It's it keeps you yeah. on it keeps you on the edge of your seat. But yeah, listen, speaking of the edge of your seat, I was on the end of my seat all night talking about this show and, and having an opportunity to meet Skyler and Johnny and Meg is just uh, a highlight that I'll uh, always uh, uh, keep in my severed mind uh, with my any and out and have these wonderful people on. Now here. you know what so, I'm in the comments and I'm like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> 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 Look, man, I appreciate you all. Uh, I'm loving what we're doing with this channel and the community we're building. Uh, and hopefully we can explore more of these type of shows on Apple, HBO, Netflix, you name it, and have more of these great conversations. So outro and out. Skylar, man, again, where can people find you? Where Where is your work that they can read and, and digest and take in? And uh, starting with you, man. Uh, thank you. Uh, you can follow me on the socials, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all of the, uh, I'm, I'm starting a YouTube, hence you see this green screen. Um, so a Skylar underscore writer is my primary handle, so you can follow me there. Um, and then in terms of my writing, you can check out blacknerdproblems.com. I have articles, videos, I do mostly uh, film and TV reviews, some book reviews. Um, and you can also catch some of my work on parlay.magazine.com. But yeah, blacknerdproblems.com, BNP, check us out. Awesome. And then before we leave, Scott, if you get a chance, if you want to put a link or something in the live chat, definitely do so, man. Uh, Cause I would love Thank people you. to check you out. Yeah, no problem, man. But uh, I love, uh, we were having you on uh, Skylar and hopefully we can maybe do more of these in the future, man. And now uh, let me know when that channel starts for, I could be your first subscriber. Uh, Johnny kicking into you, man, Johnny, since devs, that, that, that just warms my heart, man. Cause that was almost uh, what two and a half, three, almost three years, maybe, but it means a lot, Johnny. I always love seeing your comments. I love the support, man. I'm glad I was able to get to meet you virtually uh on this discussion man so johnny if you want to let the people know again uh if you have any work that you want to sure. promote or pitch the stage is yours man yeah i'm uh i'm on uh, at johnny pappas on twitter uh and just about every other uh, social media uh, i'm on um, vimeo and uh i do have uh, an imdb page uh, with about uh almost a dozen short film credits right now um I've been doing this since like 2016. So uh, um, yeah, check me out. Um, I am, am also thinking about starting my own YouTube. Uh, um, I've wanted to get on camera and um, and uh, talk about some of these things and I really enjoy doing it. Like I said with Skylar, Johnny, uh, same to you, man. Once that's, that channel starts, let me know, my friend, if i uh, love to uh, be the first subscriber and, and enjoying conversations and and, uh, and all that fun stuff. So, uh, Johnny, I appreciate you, man, and look forward to seeing you starting that channel because I know it's going to be awesome, man. Uh, and last and certainly not least, Meg, easier said with Meg. So happy you were able to join tonight uh, and uh, so happy to have this conversation with you. So if you want to let the people at home know where they can find you uh, and all that great stuff. Already. Hi guys. So I just um, started my channels recently too. I am a former teacher. I quit this year and I am determined to follow my dreams and make something of myself to show my students that they can go out and do the same thing. So I didn't want to quit in vain. I wanted to quit and put myself out there, put my story out there. And yeah, so I, I kind of realized that, you know how your phone tells you how long you're on stuff like i spend like 40 hours a week on youtube and i was like let me get out the comments and let me start talking <laughs> since i'm on here 40 hours a week anyway so yeah <laughs> nice, nice i love it i love it and we got some people looking forward to those channels and uh, again meg and um if you want to put your link in the, in the live stream before we leave definitely do so and definitely check them out guys as you can see well spoken thought provoking uh, conversations great people as well so definitely show them some love and support so two hours plus great conversation great fantastic show i want to thank everyone who hit me up in the dms and in the comments elliot gotta see this show you love it thank you so much for recommending it uh and hopefully like i said we won't have to wait too long for season two but for myself johnny skyler and meg thank you all for watching live stream uh replay gang definitely like share and leave your thoughts in the comments maybe we'll have more severance discussions in the future uh especially leading up to season two maybe we can have like another we're live not so discussion bad, Elliot. you are we're all afraid we're not yeah, so i was good, i, think, I was thought we was gonna get like someone with a goat head on <laughs> dancing, well, waffles all over the place but uh it's i was thinking more. i was like what has happened so he keeps saying no crazy stuff i'm like what has he seen i'm like you don't know what's
it's the it's the internet, Skyler, and there's some some awesome people out there, but also some some weird people out there. I'll just say that. But I'm so glad it's that like this you worked out. My DMs. Yeah, yeah, I'm so glad this worked. This I couldn't imagine this to be as well as it did. So hopefully we have to we have to do this again. We have to get this uh, get this conversation going again. But with that being said, uh, we're gonna head out. And before you guys leave, Sky, oh, I was gonna say before you guys leave, I was gonna talk to you guys before we head it out. But everyone at home, have a great night, and we will catch you on the live. 